Before the four were meant to be, there was Hitrai, a planet filled with life and luxury, brimming with epigraphy of discovery, a perfunctory only in summary. When the four were when they were meant to be, there was still Hitrai, a planet whose death loomed in its own horizon, a people whose future would be siphoned. Finally, the four are when and where they are supposed to be, and there is no Hitrai. There is no life and luxury, no more discovery, no more but perfunctory, a deathly horizon whose timing was rotten, yet written in time. So I leave you with a forethought to consider the past so we can dwell in the present. If a tree fell, but no one saw it drop, can we say that it was fallen? If it turns to rot, and still no one happens upon it, can we say that it existed? And can we say the same about our own history? You're standing in John Dungeon's office. Grelin has just landed the killing blow. No blood pools dramatically, as it was a psychic wound that dealt the final damage. The kobold is walking towards the door from where you entered. The dwarf is looking bulked out and crazy. The elephant in the room stands observant. Something's not quite right. Time is seemingly moving slower than it normally does. Upon feeling the sensation, the kobold gets to the door and his hand reaches up to touch a small button. Pressing in the small gem embedded in the wall, a loud ding echoes around you and as it does, its sound slows down until it's a steady, cacophonous drone. You turn to look at your comrades, but instead of them standing where they were, they are standing instead in front of a tall, shimmering hologram of John Dungeon. The stone walls around you pulse as you recognize the scene as the temple main chamber from Jail Island. The hologram is glitching, and the image of John Dungeon warps from standing tall and smiling, to yelling, to screaming, and then a flash of something that definitely wasn't John Dungeon. Simultaneously, the droning sound turns up an insane amount, louder than anything you've ever experienced. You bring your hands to your ears and shut your eyes, and as soon as you do, the droning ends, and the overwhelming smell of cinder and smoke hits your nostrils. Opening your eyes, the sight before you is fire. Smoke pillaring into the ceiling, gathering in gargantuan amounts. Cobwebs the size of clouds drift above ablaze as spiders fall from them like meteorites. You watch one of the clouds spit a giant ball of blazing legs and eyes and skittering, screeching, shrieking as it drifts almost lazily through the sky, exploding in the crowded jungle in front of you. The explosion brings you to your knees and as you expect to catch yourself on the ashy cobble, instead you touch soft sand and try to remember when you weren't where you last thought you were. A spider lit a flame runs out of the burning brush and straight at you and its front legs rear up as it leaps at you. And as it's about to grasp you, with its blazing limbs, you brace, but nothing comes. Around you now is just water. If you're standing, it's up to your ankles. If you're sitting, it's up to your wrists. It's calm, the light lapping from waves of an unknown origin are a welcome embrace. A few moments pass, just long enough for you to start to think. And then you realize the water is up to your knees. It's up to your waist. The pressure and the current swells around you as you follow the setting sun against the horizon in the distance. Only it's not the horizon, it's water, giant water. You have no time before the tidal wave breaks all over you and you're floating. But something hurts, everywhere hurts. It feels like a million fire ants are crawling all over you and biting every possible inch of your skin. The pain swells and pulses with the rolling torrents of water and sand. You are spinning, burning, drowning, floating, until you're not. 
You're sitting in a circle of people in a tent. Tapestry hangs from the sides and worn yet comfy carpet and hand-woven pillows rest beneath you. Hide and leather adorning your body. The smell of burning hits you again, but not fire. Incense, sweet-smelling, yet spicy. Uh, everybody's going to roll a d20 for me. So in the chat, just type slash roll d20. All right. Oh, perfect. Yikes. <laughs> All right, Raximus. Rolled a yes. 15. Around you, you're in this tent. So sorry, I don't have a, an exact map for this one. Sort of theater of the mind for this part, but... Mm -hmm. You are being handed a large ceramic pipe. Uh, the person mm -hmm. to your right is handing it to you. You're sitting on their left. It's sort of a larger, dark-skinned orc-looking character. This mm -hmm. character had just taken a large inhale from this ceramic pipe and is seemingly holding it in as they hand it over to you. And they look at you mm -hmm. and they await Dango for pond. you to take it. Do you take the pipe? I went to college. I take the pipe. He takes the pipe. Okay, no problem. And as you take it, uh, the orc uh, character beside you exhales in a, in a large release. <sighs> and from uh, her mouth, it's sort of like a mix of purple and gray and blue smoke kind of floats into the, into the ceiling a little bit. <laughs> and she sort of nods. And it's your turn to smoke. If you want to smoke, you can. And then it'll pass to one of your comrades here. All right, I'll smoke. Okay. I take a large inhale puff of whatever this is. How is it being heated? However it's being heated, uh, I take a nice puff in. Yeah. And so I it's hold it yeah. as I pass it to the next person to the left of me. It's sort of like, a, it's sort of like ceramic. So while it's not perfect, uh, it is mm -hmm. sort of resembling of a bowl. And it, there's some sort of, you don't see the heat mechanism, but it's a That's clear mouthpiece. And when you pull, you get smoke. So you're not too sure right, where I'm gonna what's pull. heating it. Okay. Hey, you, your I'm mouth fills pull. up with that smoke. It kind I'm of essentially copy exactly what the person to the to the right of me did. And just I'm like that time in college. Way. Yeah, just like the time nice. in college. Okay. Yeah, and so it tastes sort of like carrots. Mm. Yeah. And you exhale, and it smells like incense. And you feel uh, you feel nice. You get a little lightheaded from the rush. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you feel good. You and you you can pass it to your left to Chodius. I'll pass it to Chodius. I okay. feel like he needs some, too. While this is going on, uh, you know, you guys kind of are looking around. Maybe you're feeling a little confused about, you know, past memories. But as you take the pipe and as you pass the pipe and exhale and look, uh, you know, you are sitting in a, in a circle of about five or six. In the center is a masked, what looks to be like a shaman or a druid, kind of doing a little tribal dance uh, to this mm. sort of ry rhythmatic thrumming going on with a little bit of light drums in the background being played by another member of the circle. It's very dark in here. Uh, and there's some flaps letting in some light uh, behind you guys. But uh, really good. Trotis, you have it. Great. You have the, uh, <laughs> the pipe. Do you smoke it? I smoke the pipe. Okay, nice. Good. I bring it to my lips uh. in two hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> opening my mouth and inhaling deeply with my large dwarven lungs wonderful <laughs> that guy's really good at smoking that's great smoking. <laughs> that's an impressive lung capacity <laughs> my god i take it i hold it face squint slightly i pass it and i exhale yep okay uh Cobalt Zitrum, you you can take it if you want. He's passing it to you. Absolutely not. I don't I don't smoke mystery things. It's not a cobalt thing. So are you saying guys. this? Are you are you saying this out loud? Of Is course this... I'm saying this. Okay. I don't. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, thank you. I like very kind of you. I I like to stay sharp. I'll just enjoy the dance, okay? <laughs> so as you are saying this, Why don't do you, you take this? Do you, are you pat? You just pass? Do you stand yeah, up or do you to, 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 to uh, uh, Grelin? Yeah, passing he's up, he's up next. Grelin. He's up next. Do you uh, stand up with the speech? Or do you stay sitting? No, or? I'm I'm relaxing. I just, just don't chilling. want any. All right. Yeah. While you keep my mind sharp, as Chody is passing you the pipe and you go to take it, um, 
everyone kind of slows down as you don't smoke it. And then as you're talking, they, everyone stops, like the drumming stops, the shaman stops dancing, and they're all just kind of looking at you until, you know, it touches the hands of Ghrelin. And they're kind of watching you now, Ghrelin, with your next move. Are you going to smoke it? Of course, that would be rude. <laughs> to. Okay. Only a kobold wouldn't drink or so, sorry, smoke <laughs> a peace pipe offered to them by, you know, the locals. <laughs> yeah, great. Take a nice long rip. I take a huge rip. <laughs> As the tiny <laughs> little size. goblin, I'm a you two are. foot tall <laughs> goblin. Yet, goddamn, I've smoked a thing or two in my past. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and then a fucking sailboat out of my mouth like <laughs> of the rings, and I sit there, my eyes glaze over, and I just peer at the kobold. Uh, what? What's your name again? Oh, kobold. I go by many <laughs> names. I go by many names. One day it's Braden, the next it's Gert. Who knows what I'll go by next? My glazed over eyes peer judgingly at Gert. <laughs> the, the lame kobold. <laughs> and as you're kind Gert's of doing this, the person to your right, Grelin, is uh, taps you on the shoulder, and it's this sort of uh, it's goofy looking human character with like kind of like uh, the two teeth that are like missing the front two teeth, and they're kind of two teeth sticking out to the side. And it looks kind of dopey, and he's got his hood up, and he kind of is like, oh, come on, hey, come on, man. Give me the. The pipe. Let's go. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me have another puff. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 students, everyone must take your circles. The shaman speaking from under his muffled mask. Everyone's taking your time now. If you keep the circle going, you just, the dance is almost over. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Please. Don't interrupt the circle again, Cody. All right, do you, <laughs> with that, the drum beat kind of picks up again, and uh, do you pass it to the, 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 the individual? Rowan? Give it to me again. Oh, you still have it. You still, still have, have it. it? Oh, I take another, <laughs> another <laughs> mighty <laughs> All right, so as, as Chody has tried to intervene, Grelin sneakily took another, another blast. <laughs> Feeling good, I actually. Mean, absolutely, you could see the 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 uh the 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 herb in the device completely smolder over <laughs> as i finish, completely burn it makes through the last of the whatever's in there you can hear the bubbling switch absorbs into my goblin blood and i just <sighs> i exhale a mighty billowing tornado shape of <laughs> circle rings out of my Lord goblin Jackson. nostrils <laughs> jesus christ the guy standing the guy sitting next to you who originally was reaching for the pipe just puts his hands down and just like shakes his head it's and then, all gone baby <laughs> i've smoked it all <laughs> upon saying that uh <laughs> actually go ahead and make a, a constitution saving throw for me yes. so yeah, on your sheet, open up your sheet, yeah. and then just hit, uh, I think you can click strength, and it should ask you if you're doing a saving throw or a check. Uh, ability well, check well, or saving well. throw? Saving throw. Someone smoked it all, and Normal now they're in disadvantage trouble. Disadvantage or advantage? Normal. Ooh. Eh, interesting. <laughs> the worst oh, roll. Oh, that's gonna play out. A one, huh? <laughs> Am I gonna die already <laughs> from an overdose? <laughs> Well, that was quite an impressive dose of smoking you did there, Goblin. And the shaman comes up to you and he reaches his hands out uh, to take the uh, the vase from you. Do you hand it to you? He reaches his hand out to take it from you. Do you hand the vase slash bong to him? I, as uh, like someone who realizes their mistake, I <laughs> give them a, a slight nod with one eye open. That's okay. Smitty didn't really yeah. need any more. He's drunk as it is. This down. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks. And as you do, as soon as you let go of the, the pipe, the shaman takes a, st a very fast step back from you, and you vomit all over the ground, um, <laughs> inside the tent, all over the nice woven pillows, all over... I laugh. Yep, all over the people sitting adjacent to you. 
So the the humanoid, and then uh, I think whoever passed you the bong, I guess. So it was Zichum. I'm no longer Gert. laughing. Yeah, you're covered in vomit. <laughs> it's like it smells like fish mainly. Hello that wasn't Goblin funny. Can't hold his smoke. And uh, they're doing this. Everyone kind of like, ah, yeah, see, oh god, you're not supposed to smoke it close. That's the reason. Um, but uh, they all sort of like uh, uh, they kind of cover their mouths and like they all run out of the tent. Mm -hmm. um, they they you know the the flaps brush open as they all move past you guys and sun kind of pours in, uh, and the shaman is the last one to kind of scoop by you guys and goes okay well wish you in here see me outside I guess thanks. And so you guys are left alone in the stinky uh, fish vomit fish smelling uh, tent. I do eat Why a lot of fish. Why did you do like that, Colin. Rowan? Why did you do that? What were you... <laughs> covered in vomit. something to take the edge off after our last big adventure with John Dungeon. You have, like, a napkin? <laughs> no, we're carrying any weight in there. I took on all the responsibility. A little towel. All the danger. All the risk. Maybe some water. Oh. <laughs> Little pan, little napkin. I the reason we survived. I don't know about you guys, but where are we? You don't remember? <clears throat> I mean, we were in that room and now we're here. Smoking. <laughs> what was in that stuff? <laughs> oh, um, uh, everybody but Zichum gets an, an inspiration die. For smoking. Oh, cool. uh, so essentially, you can re-roll one roll tonight throughout the session, uh, for, and just, re uh, just a free re-roll if you fail something. Uh, Wonderful. Do we have to mark that somewhere? The juice now. Uh, you, can keep it, you can keep it. Uh, you can keep it in your mind. You can put it. You can write it wherever you want. I don't know. If there's a special place for it for this kind of thing. It's, My cobalt school dare officer would be proud of me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You rejected peer pressure, and look what it got you. Minus one extra roll. Fucked. Also, Got to be fucked. <laughs> minus one social credits in the party, in the group. You fucking pussy. definitely not as cool as the rest of us. I can't say that. Oh, Especially oh, the crowd over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, for clarification, uh, the yeah. goblin threw up on the kobold and not the Another dwarf, one. correct? I yeah, correct. Rallied. I'm now they're all fine, just uh, shitting on me. Yeah, he vomited. He feels a little hungry now. His, his stomach is a little empty. But yeah, he got he got vomit mainly on uh, the humanoid that left, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the the cobalt Zechum's character. Fine. What was My he doing? Kid. Spinning his head back and forth. My yes. character. Uh, <laughs> no goblins always vomit. What do you mean? <laughs> Raximus chooses to uh, kind of just say like. You guys clean yourself up and, and meet me out, and you can hang out, meet us outside. And then I point to, like, the dwarf, who also doesn't have vomit on him, and just say, you want to go out there? And then we're going to go yeah, towards you, the opening. As you guys are kind of standing here all by yourselves, you guys have a good, you have really good look at each other. The, some of the, the, the flaps from the entrance of the tent have been left open to kind of clear out the mm -hmm. smoke and the smell. Um, so you kind of have a better, little bit of better lighting. You guys are wearing very legitimate-looking tribal hide and leather armor like you got the armbands with the fur poking out of it you know your harness mm -hmm. is like studded with uh like bits of um uh like <laughs> thick hide wrapped together you have the fur underneath it against your skin very official I'll, you know the mm -hmm. the shamans wear he has a very the mask with the feathers adorned all over it there were small animal skulls around his belt and he had like a hog skull over the top of his head you couldn't actually make out the shaman's face. Um, but yeah, and if you guys want to leave, uh, what I'll do here is I will open up the next the next map here. Uh, you should Please see it. wait. Okay, no problem. Uh -oh. Can I investigate what's inside this tent? Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Absolutely. Any sort of naturally. loot? You may. Why don't you? Are you looking for anything specific? Valuables. Okay, make 
an investigation. <laughs> Leave role. it to the dwarf to start ransacking our host's little tent. Normally, the second I, they walk out. normally I would be the one to inquire about <laughs> such things, but I'm very high. <laughs> it slipped my mind. And I'm covered As in fish goblin. vomit. I'm and I want to get out of here. I'm covered in fish vomit and I'm really fucking baked. So the dwarf will. <gasps> Investigate. What am premises. I looking at? What am I? What am I doing here? You are going to make me an investigation roll to see how thoroughly you are. You comb through the place. Pretty good. Not terrible. Not terrible. <laughs> Looking for valuable. Have a look specifically, but you know you don't ignore things. Um, it's very nice. Everything looks pretty, pretty handmade. Uh, it's um, the tapestries have pictures of animals on them. Uh, the biggest tapestry in the room has uh, actually a pretty gruesome looking depiction of like a giant like tyrannosaurus dinosaur looking thing and there's like people around it and like fighting it kind of like with spears and a very tribal looking this sort of a depiction it's a tapestry so it's been like woven in a sense mm. yep but it's hanging it's hanging off part of the yep part of the tent yep mm -hmm. and it's a pretty big tent in the tent right now no, nobody else is in the tent. And also, well, I mean, you know, there's bedrolls, there's in the pillows. Tent, well, yeah, every, we? you guys are all in the tent. Yeah, uh, but no yeah. one, I thought that's what he meant. None of yeah, you guys yeah. are. You guys don't call the cops if he steals things and gets, that's why he was asking. I mean, I might. So I might. I might. Okay, I might. Okay. well, there you go, Chodis. You might have something to I'm ask your go comrades. <laughs> yanking at this tapestry okay. to pull it down. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> tapestry. I wouldn't even Chodis does. <laughs> Damn, uh, the one thing I didn't prepare, the tapestry item. <laughs> yes, you go ahead and make a strength check for me there, bud, as you pull it down. Smile, I'm not he, stalling. I hope he totally <laughs> fucks it up. We haven't even got to the act. God damn. <laughs> one, one swift yank. Just you, you, you feel the tent pull down with you a little bit, but it just like springs right back. And whatever ties were holding it in place, they just snap right off. Uh, and the tapestry, you have it. Um, it's pretty big. I would say it's about probably like t 10 to 12 feet long. Okay. And uh, like five feet tall. Most people it's big. Take. Yeah. It was like it was like hung up in like curve like too. So you pull it down. Rug. Yeah, it's a giant How rug. Gonna hide yeah. this. I'm gonna hide this. My character <laughs> while walk while going towards the door is gonna say, How the hell are you gonna hide that? I'm leaving the tent. The it smells way. like Hold fish. I'm out of this tent. I'll I, fold uh, it up and just insert it onto the inside of my 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 leather drobes. Have you ever tried to fold a rug up, Decky? <laughs> there you go. You guys should be a able to see. Twelve by twelve rug. I don't know if it shows I, at the top. I, I look. I look at Jodius and I say, "Mate, I steal all kinds of things. It ain't worth it." <laughs> This is a. <laughs> you're never gonna. T you're not gonna want to carry it around. This is a waste of your energy. You Walter. ever seen a dinosaur-looking thing like that? Not me. Oh, do we go to the camp clearing? <laughs> yes. So if you guys want to leave the tent, you can go I'm into the camp the clearing. Tent. I'm Please. leaving the tent. Yes, I'm leaving can... the tent. After no ripping a tapestry onto the floor, he's leaving the tent. Mm. Everybody. Uh, this place is a little bit. Uh, different than okay yeah. the perspective is a little forced okay don't panic i've got some jungle ambience oh beautiful oh, oh. wonderful i'd be seeing something yes you hear it you're not there yet you're still in the original map you have to switch to the new clamp the, cl the, cl cl the camp clearing oh. on the top yeah top yeah, left it's Can't like you learn. uncovered this part, this new place to go to, man. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. You're here now. Oh, ah, camp voila, clearing. voila. Beautiful. So you guys clearing. emerge from the tent. A few, uh, you know, sheets of heavy cloth. You push them out of your way, and uh, you can hear the sounds of the jungle around you. Sort of lag get louder as the small scene settles in front of you. Looks like you've set up camp here with this, these of tribe mates question mark of yours uh basic supplies are scattered around firewood uh some cages for livestock um inside the tent there were some rations and stuff that you also took note of while you're in there under some of these things are barrels with some food items in them and, and a few of the people that were sitting inside with you 
are visible around here as well. Uh, you recognize the shaman from the boar skull on his head with the feathers, but he's taken off his mask. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Curious, even. The scene is yours. I would like to talk to this being. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Trig. You, what's the craziest thing I've ever done around you, Trig? Not smoke bong. <laughs> we go way back, don't we, Trig? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it was, it was nice meeting you. I'm just, I just walk away. That's all. That's the end of that. She do doesn't <laughs> even flinch. It goes right back to <laughs> tying some rope or whatever. Guys, I don't think we've been here for that long. These guys don't even really know me. I I'm up still to saying, this. did did that island and John John Dungeon even happen? You have the memory or of it. Were we all just smoking that pipe for too long? <laughs> Because I, mean, I remember it. I didn't smoke the pipe. You have the memory of the island as clear in your head as you do the memories of like your childhood and growing up. So, however, that mm. stuff is clear to you is as clear as the other stuff is. Mm. For mm. for reference, I suppose. Interesting. I get farther away I... from that guy. He's a freak. <laughs> it's a girl, I actually. Approach this. Mm. He's a. Uh, just like moving wood around, Ooh. like organizing wood. It's a big orc, sort of like a very fuzzy looking orc. Like mm. has orc looking skin and features, but he's covered in like fur, like a thick fur, almost like a bugbear would be. Just Excuse gonna look me. at him. Big bug! And he turns around really fast and looks at you. Big bug! What are you moving all that for? Big bug! For? Big bug! Why are you so Big Bug? Grelin. Okay. I think his name's I... Big Bug. Big Bug. Big, big Bug. Big Bug. He hands you a large log, a very large log. Do you take it? it? Like I, I grab it and it just like drops. Yeah. Like <laughs> it I'm, does. Not I'm a little goblet. If you, if I'm you not want to check. To... No, I it doesn't like, look like you can like hold it. I just drop it to the ground and, okay. and, and, and like step out of the way. And Why? I just like oh, look at him and I say, I'm... Way too high to deal with this guy. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> I, just, I just back off. He looks down at the wood and he looks a little disappointed, but he picks it up and goes back to work. No, there's yeah. more here. Big bug. Big, Big bug. bug. Turns around, looks at you. Big bug. Big bug. Big bug. Bug big. He hands you some wood. Whoa. Bug big. He hands you the wood. He's oh. offering you wood. Big bug. I love He's offering wood. you the wood. Thank He's handing so it to you. Much. He's just like but putting it bug, in I, your hands. So you never have someone put something bug, in your hand really and then let go of it. <laughs> big bug. Ow. Do you like try to hold it or do you just step out of the way? No, it's like on my foot or something. The dude just dropped a log in yeah. front of me. Like a stump. I'm big bug, that hurt. Big bug. Big bug, what the fuck? Help me get bug. this off me. <laughs> big bug, he picks it up with one. I lift the log oh. off of off of his uh, left foot. Big bug. Big bug. Big. Oh, he likes that. Lift it higher. Lift it higher, <laughs> Dwarf. Uh, big I bug. lift the log over my head, my he dwarven biceps glistening in the sunlight. <laughs> it, he's He looks impressed. He turns around, and he, he, he reemerges holding a larger log, and he holds it above <laughs> his head. And he goes, big bug, big. Big, that's a pretty big log, a big, big bug. bug, but I bet the dwarf could carry an even bigger one. I bet you could carry <laughs> two logs. Yeah, I bet our dwarf friend could carry two, big bug. I certainly could, big bug. Give me a bigger one. Big bug? And he, he like, kind of, like, like is going to, like, lean over with his <laughs> and, like, drop his onto yours in a manner of speaking. Like, kind of give you his. Are you, are you okay. gonna try to take it? Alright. I take, I take! <laughs> Make a strength check for me then. <laughs> uh. uh click on your 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 yes, token. I have it. Yep, and then you got it. Ooh. Uh oh. That's not good. You have that you have that inspiration point if you wanna use it. Not that this would be uh. ideally the best place. 
Like, you're wasting <laughs> But, my dude. Yeah, Ty, I smoked that for I you. <laughs> Yo, this is a free will sort of situation. So you do whatever you want. Oh, you did yeah, use it. Like oh, my God. Big bug. Holy <laughs> shit. Did you really use it Yo, for this? Dude. For Big Bug? He has big to make bug. a point. I'm, I'm going to say is impressive, it? but I bet you couldn't do three logs. Wait, hang on. Because the scene before big bug he's impressed with the speed of strength mm -hmm. not only was he admiring the glistening muscles a moment ago but now that you've got the now that it went from like you so when he dropped the log on it you felt your knees buckle and he saw it happen he like took a step back and like cracked a little smile but then you found something deep deep in you bug. and you you <laughs> reached it yeah big bug indeed and then you pushed hard and you you know straight up almost as tall as, as big bug is you reach those logs up and he is he was very very impressed big bug big bug Bug big. Clap like big to, bug. I like Light to clap. imagine uh, Chodius takes like that like weightlifter stance where they put like one leg behind the other and like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, like a flash of brilliance behind yeah. him. Uh, big bug is going to uh, offer you his iron pot. He turns around and he picks up an empty iron pot and he wants to give it to you, Chodius. Like, how big is this pot? Pretty standard looking pot. You put it on like a fire and cook a stew in it. Okay. I, uh. Probably smaller I will, I than the will... tapestry. <laughs> Place Wait. one of the logs in front of Big Bug. I will Give take the pot and I will say, Big Bug. Bug big. And you and can check I'm your inventory. And I'll walk away with my iron pot. It's in your inventory now. Wow. Perfect. You've got it. You've also gained the favor of, of Big Bug. Fantastic. Well done. Hey, hey, Big Bug. I'm sorry about Grelin earlier. Hey, he was Big Bug. He doesn't usually do that. I'm sorry. Bug. It was, bug nice, big. it was nice talking to you, Big Bug. Take big care bug. of those logs, man. Big. I'm still super like confused. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna walk down. I choose to walk down towards Birdman. All right. I'm yeah. Walking slow so they can follow if they want. <clears throat> Underneath both of these. Uh, 2D okay. renditions of uh, shacks are like barrels mm -hmm. of uh, various expeditionary resources. And this one specifically is sorting through them. In front of you is a, a Kenku, which is sort of uh, the crow race. It's, a crow, it's like a crow mm -hmm. or a raven. So it's a dark, dark feathered bird wearing a uh, uh, less armory looking garb, more traditional flowy looking garb. Um, still mm. very tribal, sh like shamanistic sort of thing, and he holds a staff mm. as well. All right, can I say, mm. wise birdman? Um, actually, wise kinku. Is that what they're called? Kinkus. They are called kinkus, wise yes. kinku. Um, could you please tell me how we met? Uh, so as you say hello to him, he turns to you and he nods, and mm -hmm. you hear. How we met. Kenku. How we met. Mm. And you hear your voice being mimicked back to you when you talk to him. I'm uh. a big dumb idiot. You say that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I yelled it out. I yelled it out. Okay. Good job. That, that <laughs> you, <Kenku> you respond? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> he does not. <laughs> I say, I, I'm just going to say thank you for your time. And I'm going to move on to the time. last character we haven't talked thank to. Thank you. Yeah, he goes right back to work. Okay. I'm slowly walking towards That's this weird. person. All right. I thought he was going to mimic. I thought he was going to I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm actually a big dumb idiot. You know that, right, Grillin? <laughs> I think you're a big dumb idiot now. I, 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 can, I, can I walk up to this bird man? Yeah, of course. Right. Okay, then I'm gonna stop. I Here. say, That's fine. yeah. I know a Kenku is smarter than that. I know you just wanted to make a fool of that dang kobold. He wouldn't smoke right the pipe. You. He's <laughs> listening to this. I can hear you. I know you have more to say than just you know making a fool of the kobold man. I've known many like you from the street urchin days of my kobold. younger years. Fool. 
what he says back oh. to you. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once he leaves, Maddie. does the Birdman level with me, or is he actually an idiot? <laughs> uh, make a make, make a history check for me. <laughs> Load up your sheet and roll for history. You're gonna see if you have an idea. Some okay. hidden insight in this bird. <laughs> I know he's smarter than this. Wait, where's history? History? Yeah, no worries, no worries. You guys are still getting used to it. I totally get it. Yeah. Uh, where would I find that? It's on your main attributes, uh, and it's under the, the 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 box of words. Oh, I got it. Yep. yep. That's like your normal? secondary skills. Yeah, normal. Yeah, he's just a big idiot. All right. <laughs> So then I, I go. Uh, I think those drugs are still not quite worn off. Maybe I'm mistaking this bird guy for a smart bird guy. He really is just an idiot. He, he didn't even smoke the pipe, and he's. Are you saying this out loud? I. Are you like monologuing I, it's like out an loud? Inner monologue okay. thing. That's yeah. fine. Uh, whoa. I think it'd be funnier <laughs> if you said it out loud. No, I said, yeah, I uh, think it's in my head. As you're, as loud. you're finishing your conversation, actually, uh, the shaman approaches you and puts his hand on your shoulder while you're talking to the kenku, and it wants he to. Moved aqua. Move he moved. Back. Yeah, you, you scooted away from move me too back. fast. And he goes, you know, uh, you know, he's just, he's just a mimic, right? He can only, he only mimic what he hears. It didn't mimic what I said. Well, he can choose what he wants to mimic. He's not, he's not an idiot. I heard you call him that. He doesn't like it. Sure seems like <laughs> he's our healer. You can't be mad at him. Grelin, he's our healer. Come on, please. For me, for Gobbo. All the times we've had together. So far, I mean. Wait, what kind of... I'm vouching how for many him. Times, what kind of times have you guys had Oh, hey, Brayden. Oh, I mean, Gert. What's going on? What, what'd you say? What kind of times have we had together? Well, time is subjective, really. You think about it. Well, when did we meet? We've met him right now. Gorbo? Yeah, but, I mean, what, did we go to school together, Gorbo? Like, Maybe. What school did you go to? Uh, I, I say... Like a cobalt I... school, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Aqua, what you got? I say... All right, I'm starting to sober up a little bit. As long as he can heal the wounds of the clumsy dwarf... Yeah, it's he's going to be, he'll, he'll probably be, like, the most valuable on this upcoming expedition. Actually, if any of anyone's favor here, you should win. I think it'll be his. I saw you talking I'm to Bugbear. Big Bear. Big Bug. He's a good guy. I just walk away, giving him kind of like a mental look. Yeah. We'll talk soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, all right. I'm going to talk to this guy. Wait, 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 sorry, is the guy, is the, sorry, I'm, sorry, okay, is, is the guy to the left of me, yeah. the guy that Aqua essentially yeah. smoked all Yeah, the, okay. And so when you walk up to him, as you walk up to him, uh, he's standing by the bushes, uh, like, mm -hmm. pouring, like, water on some of his clothing, trying to, like, like, flicking off chunks of vomit and fish, and he's like, oh, mm -hmm. god, damn it, stupid, slimy goblin, she, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he's sort of got, uh, with him, he's wearing, like, a very ragged cloak, uh, he has, like, a large barrel, I guess not, not like a large barrel, but like a like a, a medium sized barrel that he has been carrying with him that you now you know you kind of lock in on uh, that he brought with him as well, and he's got like a backpack of, of stuff it seems with him as well, maybe like a camping backpack. All right, I'm gonna. And he's sort of just looking at the. Say, yeah. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> that he turns around. Oh. Hey, sorry to startle you, buddy. Uh, uh, sorry about that goblin's goblin's throw up thing. He doesn't know how to hold his smoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what you what you got in that barrel over there? It seems Does heavy. you, Mister One Hit? <laughs> sorry. Oh, maybe you could say sorry to me for Ma vomiting on me. No. And he's like trying, <laughs> okay. looking at you guys, like talk back and forth to each other. Is my bar <laughs> my barrel is uh. You know, it's like pff, liquids, and he kind of like kinda puts his liquids. hand on it and like looks at you, just like you know, water. Can I sample some of that no. water? You got it's really, it's clean. <laughs> uh, can I do a quick, uh, can I do a quick check of some sort to see if I can smell some sort of yeah uh, alcohol on the breath? 
I would say that would be a good insight check if you're trying to see trying to see if he's, this is a drunk mm. individual. That's exactly what I'm trying to see. Normal, to make correct? It happen. Would yeah, be? normal would be good. Thank you. You know, you did just come out of a smoking circle, so mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there are some signs that this guy might be inebriated. Yeah, absolutely, for sure, definitely. Okay. Kind of I'm slurring his say... words, kind of smells. You know, you're in the jungle, so he smells as much as someone would smell in the jungle, I guess. Mm -hmm. He looks like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> did you, say, like that, did you say that to him? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you just said out loud? No, this is outside of character. Are you are you just <laughs> me in real life? I'm going to say something about how there's candles that we might want to put out. <laughs> oh, shit, did it light on fire? Did we miss something? No, no, it's all good. Yo, Chody's has the travel like gear Rollins on, too. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I kind of look back at Grelin and then look mm. at the guy and then go, Hey, Grelin, doesn't this guy kind of look like your dad? <laughs> Grelin, this guy kind of looks like your dad. <laughs> uh, 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 and he kind of squints his eyes. Son? <laughs> Is that... Uh, well, there, I guess there was... There's that one time at, at the docks... He's Wait a second. A goblin. Where am I? <laughs> half goblin. I don't know. Are you half goblin? Is that ring of? Is that your backstory? <laughs> I was born in the wreckage of an old ship. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty badass backstory, actually. God, look, Grelin. I think we could take this guy for all he's got. Just nah, see his kid for a minute. It kind of goes back to like. He kind of looks down at his shirt and he sees some like vomit and, goes, Ugh, and he starts like. Trying to brush it off of him, but he's just like smeared right. it into his clothes somewhere. S since <laughs> I finally sussed out the situation and realized that all these other bozos know nothing, I'm going to start walking back over uh, towards the shaman character yes. that was in the middle. Yeah, so listen, if they ask you, if they ask you, if, if, they wanna, if they want you to go with you, just go with them. It'll be fine. Oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? How's it going, shaman boy? Yeah, it's going uh, very well, yeah. I was just having a, a lovely, normal volume conversation with Echo here. Yes. Yes, thank Echo you. Echo has agreed uh, to join you on your journey uh, into the forest further. You guys know why we're on this journey, right? I don't have to. No, that's, that's <laughs> I don't have what to explain I was about it to, to ask you. you, good sir. I'll explain uh, it to you anyway. Ask if you could explain it to us. I'll do it. You didn't ask. Oh, you didn't have to. No worries. I got you. So. Mm -hmm. This is our tribe. Mm -hmm. You know this because you're a part of our tribe, right, Echo? Of course, yes. And the yeah. Kenku, the Kenku, kind of looks at him and looks at all four of you, and it looks very confused at what the, at what he's saying. Okay. You, our mission as a tribe in this little cliffside jungle is to track down the famed, the horrible. The scary, the terrorist, but not the big terrorist, the little terrorist, the baby one. So this is the time of the year where the babies are like out and about, and there's okay. just at a point where they're they're old enough to find them out in the wild because the parents don't keep track of them, but they're not old enough where that they're totally impossible to kill. So mm. sort of our ritual, we do the ritual dance. We kill the thing, we get to hide, we make some cool armor out of it. Yes, that's why we're here, baby. Terrorist killing. Right, let go. And she looks at he looks at the Kenku and the Kenku is just like bewildered. <laughs> he like, kinda is like it, he nods his head a little bit and goes, Terrorist. Terror, baby, terrorist, kill. Kind of mimicking back mm. uh, Goblin's voice mm. to him. I'm gonna go lean over to the elephant and whisper under my breath. Did he say terrorist? Te terror, terror, sorry, terror-esque. Terror-esque. terror Like the famed monster. Can I do a history check to Absolutely see what Absolutely, you can. 100%. You. And you could even, if you have a higher stat in, like, uh, nature, you can choose whichever yeah, one would be Yeah, let's do nature. Higher. Let's do yes. a nature check for the old terror yes. or whatever. Yeah, you you know of the terror ask. Uh, actually, now that the name was spoken out loud, seeing the mm -hmm. tapestry that Chody has pulled down, you kind of connect the dots. Mm -hmm. That's what was that was what, what the image was. Uh, it's essentially 
uh, an unkillable what? Tyrannosaurus Rex in every traditional metaphorical state of the word, word words. Uh, it's a big dinosaur known to have giga immunities yes. across the board, mm. uh, bloodthirsty, and the fact that it kind of dawns on you after you kind of have this m moment of memory uh, that this is like, what? You're like, wait, 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 we're fighting what? What are we going up after again? Mm. Okay, so I'm going to be a little puzzled and remember now, and I'm going to say, uh, how many of these fine tribe members are we taking with us or available to take with us? Because this is a a very big beast that we must slay. Ah, uh, yes. Well, make sure you don't find the mama. The mama probably just going to eat you up, so we don't want to mm -hmm. bother her. So we just want to find the baby. They're usually stick to the warmer parts of the, the cliffside jungle. So once you cross the river, we had our uh, advanced scouting team go on ahead to prepare the way for you guys hopefully clearing out any obstacles along the way now fred and greg are out the outpost right outside the clearing they're probably not going to be of any help to you though but over the river once you cross the river keep an eye out for sydney and it's and it's and his his other i forget the guy's name to be honest he's got such a forgettable face uh -oh. So my character hears this and Gerald. he's sobering up at this point, Grelin. Grelin. And he walks up to this shaman in a very kind of intimidating manner, Ooh, kind of hey. eyeballing him, like, you know, giving him the eyebrows. Is you and Grelin smelling good, man? Are you fish for lunch? And, yeah, I'm, I'm getting my wits about me again, and I'm wondering... What's in it yeah. for us? Why would we help you do this? What's I was just there? wondering What's the same pay? thing. I you mean, the thrill of the hunt. You guys are all a part of the same tribe as we are. Every else is a part of the tribe's yearly yeah, duty. Is it's just a ritualistic. You shared some fucking uh, goose shit hemp with us. <laughs> You've been a part of this tribe your whole life, Grelin. I don't remember anything about this tribe. These people are your family. Think of it. They've raised you. They've raised, been raised alongside you. Your blood has been spilled in this force many times before. Whether or not you yourself have those memories now, it's not up for me to decide. I don't have those memories. <laughs> you don't. don't you don't. If you, if you sit there and try to think about what he's saying, you absolutely do not have you, the memories you have of a, your own character and his backstory. Yeah. Right. I remember John Dungeon and all that. Oh, yes. John Dungeon. What an elaborate setup that was. I, too, remember that to be quite a turning point, if you will. Wait, this guy remembers John Dungeon? Are you asking him or are you asking me? Yeah. No, I'm going to I'm gonna ask the guy. You okay. know John Dungeon? Yeah, of course. This tall hat, fat looking dude. Who wouldn't when know John Dungeon? When did you meet John Dungeon? He was there with us. What do you mean? Yeah, Sayil Island. The Kenku at this oh point God, is just like, tribe. it's just like, oh my God, we're a part of this tribe. <laughs> goes back to work, <laughs> goes back to work. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the, 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 the shaman character again. I'm going to say, so you want the four of us to go and slay the, the little, uh, whatever they're called. I want to call him Tesseract. Terrorist. Or... Terrorist. Yeah. The terrorist. <laughs> exactly, the terrorist. The, the, terrorist. the baby yeah, terrorist. We're going to go after yeah. the terrorist, um, and we're going to okay. say... Who else are we taking with us from our tribe, or are we the only warriors? No, all of uh, you may take whoever's favor you feel you have gained enough oh to God, ask to go with you. Oh, big, big bug, oh big, my God, big bug, uh, big bug, big bug. Hey. I've taken the liberty quickly... of asking Echo to go with you to, you know, yeah, make I'm sure gonna... that this isn't a ready availability. But can I pick up a stone and give it to Echo and say, "Here's a gift"? You absolutely can, and he okay, will pick. pick he will take. He will take the stone. And he will mimic back to you, gift. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. He says it in your own voice. So sorry, I'm not. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a mimicking exactly what we say. Yeah, in exactly. Our same voice. Yep. Exactly. Big bug. Come <laughs> big, with us. Big, big bug. Big bug. I love you. Come with us, dude. Big bug. Big bug. Big, big bug. bug. You wanna come with us? We're big gonna kill bug. the terrorists. Bug. Big bug. Big bug. <laughs> bug. 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 Big. Big bug. Does that sound fun to you? Bug. Bug. Big. And he flexes. Flexes his muscles. Oh my god, Big Bug, I knew you could do it. I knew Bug you could big. do it. 
dude. Bugberg. Yeah, it'll kill Bugberg. it. Bugberg. And he smashes some yeah! wood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting back thinking to myself like, oh, great. We're going to bring a guy who can only say his own name and a guy who just repeats everything that other people say. <laughs> Just Come on, Big concerned. Bug, join the group. Are you are you saying that out loud, or is that just your reflection? Or I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> well, oh, you know, boy. Grelin, I know you're quite the socialist here. You have a few other people you could ask to accompany me. I know you've already spoken at length to Smitty over there, uh, and uh, of course you have the nonchalant Trig as well. And then don't forget if about I, Gerald I and Sydney. They are across the river waiting for you to meet up with them. They're our advanced warriors. They have a little bit more experience in the killing. I'll be the judge of that when I see them. Well said. But for now, I want to go with the two dummies so that I can selfishly control the situation mentally. I don't hey, know what you mean, but that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hey, Joey. Supplies that we can take on this journey. I'm so glad you asked before you left, because you probably would have perished if you hadn't. Very clever of you, indeed. Besides what you already have on your person... <laughs> Besides what you already have on your person and whatever uh, the equipment that the people you choose to go with you bring with them, uh, I, have, I will supply you with a few days' worth of rations, mm -hmm. as well as uh, perhaps a healing potion, maybe? That sounds okay. What about two healing potions? Two potions? healing potions? But what about the rest of this tribe, Julius? What about us? I don't think the rest of the tribe's out there busting their asses, killing, killing what if one terrorists. Of us, what if one of us yeah. falls I, uh, over I and stubs our toe? I take my daggers and I hold <laughs> it up to the shaman's neck and I say... Whoa! Okay, okay, the, I am the Kenku right notices this. An unarmed attack on the stupid, gr the stupid goblin. You're gonna punch Can him? I do that? Can He's I like, just try attack punch him, him right now before he pulls his knife on the leader of our freaking clan? <laughs> well, it's sort of... Oh, Let shit. Let me do my yes, thing well, here. I'm yeah. negotiating. <laughs> oh, no, what are you doing? It's, it depends on how you guys want to roll it. So, like, if you do want... We do, do we both do initiative or what? Uh, you So, Grelin, you were just going to hold your knife out to his... You were pulling your knife out in sort of like a, an intimidating manner, right? Yeah, like to the backup Chodius that we need right. two... Two it, healing it doesn't, potions. It doesn't it doesn't sound like him. he was gonna that step I fast. I want some gold up front. I need some gems, <laughs> some gold. I want to see some. I want to see some major coin. I want a nice shiny before I put my neck on the line for you. Uh, make a perception quick, check real quick for me, Grelin, as you're saying that. To uh, as you're saying that, just your perception, and then um. What I'll say about normal? yeah normal. What I'll say about the the order of oh yeah perfect. Okay, so actually, as you say gem, you see uh, the Kenku sort of behind the scene, sort of like his hand moves and like touches his pouch, and his eyes, eyes kind of like dart, and then he just goes back to work. And but then uh, I zero in on that. <laughs> what you got in that little pouch there, bird man? <laughs> the bird kind of turns its head and then goes back to work. And then the, the gobbo here will speak up. Hey, listen, listen, guys. Whoa, listen. Uh, but if you're going to try and punch him, Raximus. Oh, I 100% will punch him. You can just do it right now. <laughs> You'll get the strike on it. will be like a surprise attack. Go for Where's it. Just roll. Yeah, unarmed, roll unarmed right? strike. Yeah, just click the click yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah then yeah, click. Yeah. Just uh, damage. No, you have to do the. Da you have to try to actually hit him. You might miss. <laughs> okay, so I'll do the attack. Yeah, you have to attack. Okay, you missed. So <laughs> I'm gonna swing my trunk. In Whoa. <laughs> okay, so you kind of like move up and like try and like mm -hmm. swing at him a little bit, um, but I guess you, you you miscalculate how tall he is in comparison to you. There's quite a height. Okay, so he's here. like right underneath me. And he's right like, underneath oh. you. And you, you kind of like tussle all the feathers on the head. And he's kind of still taken a little bit back by it. Mm -hmm. But no damage. I <laughs> okay, two, two, like... two potions. Fine, fine, fine. God. It's like I, we're, like uh, we're all part of the same team here, guys. Can I quickly make a retort to the elephant for such an unjust and <laughs> out of nowhere? Absolutely, you can. I say... I'm I'm a little taken aback by it. He almost got me with that trunk, you know, mm -hmm. it skimmed my head. But like I play it off real cool, like. <laughs> what? All right, Mister Brain. Why don't you leave the brawn to the rest of us? 
clearly <laughs> you had you don't <laughs> you're not quite <laughs> you couldn't hit me if i were you know with my eyes closed or something like that you know just really intimidating kind of just like rubbing it in his face that he couldn't hit even hit me a little goblin man can we know? roll for if that's even intimidating or not yeah <laughs> yes you can yes can we, can we roll you can for roll anybody for... who is intimidating <laughs> you can roll for intimidation that's all right no Never i think <laughs> just like get on with the roll. thing we got i got my healing potions maybe maybe i'll dial that one I put, back considering so, i didn't even think of anything to say really i just didn't like the the attack from the elephant man i didn't like when you tried to uh, rob our best friend rob our only fucking our leader I, of our listen, group maybe you remember him i don't trust him yet i don't know this guy no one trusts you either right well, well, I, I keep in see Echo. Grelin, Things dude, are gonna go great this out there. fucking Grelin, dude. This guy's a freak. Hey, Shaman. <laughs> yes, what's you up, Shaman? You can get a couple of servings of that drink that the old guy has. <laughs> oh, if you want to talk to Smitty about his barrel, he is very occupied with that barrel. I swear. Some people have told me that it's empty and they've seen inside of it. I don't know, man. He's always drunk. I don't know where. We don't actually have any alcohol here. I don't know what. What? I, I don't know. It's very strange. I don't know. He doesn't. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, here's a bunch of stuff. I put it all in your inventory, Chodia, so you can disperse it. You can just, you can uh, hand it out how you like. But here's a, essentially, uh, the Traveler's basic starting kit. You got a bedroll, a two-person tent, uh, two healing potions. Uh, there's also some soap in there for growling. you, Grelin. Uh, there's also, <laughs> I heard you guys talking about some pay, so here's a red ruby as well. Ooh. You know, we don't have any gold because we're a, tri a, a tribal, a very, uh, you know, we're, tr we're a tribe. We don't really, right. you know, the whole gold you know, thing. Technically, I, I guess you could it's say not this really. was all already ours. Yeah, actually, that's why I'm okay giving it to you because, yeah, you know, I don't understand why I were robbing maybe, from our own self, Maybe but. Grelin is misunderstanding his <laughs> story a little bit. <laughs> Perhaps Grelin is a little unclear on what's going on here. An, an out of character? That's okay. I from that's the fine. peace pipe earlier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over to Smitty and I'm yeah. just gonna kind of shove him aside and go Whoa. with the barrel. <laughs> uh, he's sleeping against the barrel right now. Sleeping he's against the barrel? He's gonna kind of shove him aside and go <laughs> okay. with the barrel. Go ahead and make a... Are you tr not trying to wake him up? I'm not really worried if he wakes up. It's just kind of... <laughs> okay. Him to the side. Inhuman-like <laughs> reflexes. As soon as you touch him, he rolls, flips, grabs the barrel, and takes five feet step back from you. <laughs> my barrel. I don't touch my barrel. All right. Maybe we want to take this guy with us. I'll go oh, with man. you. Oh yeah. Listen. Oh yeah. Oh, all you have to do is ask. Me and old Betsy Barrel. Hey, be right there. I got ten. I got two person ten as well. You sure? Oh, Do we really need this guy? I'm sleeping yes. with this guy. Hey, <laughs> my <laughs> man. <guy>. Listen, <clears throat> I got. Look at this. And he, he waves the staff around. And uh, it's got like flowers growing out of it. It's like a piece of wood with flowers growing out of it. And uh, the, the soil on the ground right here erupts in flowers, like red and blue. Okay. I'm going to. Yeah. Say <laughs> cool. You're in. Oh, dude. I'm gonna go for a little walk up to this guy too, up this guy up north. I don't remember. How many people have you killed? Uh, what murder? How many? How many ter terrorists have you killed? Even baby ones. Oh, this is my first hunt. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Guys, I think we should think about Smitty for a second. <laughs> you're you're talking to Trig. She's working. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Trig and say, hey, are you coming on this hunt with all of us? She kind of stops for a second, tying some rope together. Looks mm -hmm. over at uh, the current scene, which is uh, <laughs> uh, Gert <laughs> talking to Smitty. Yeah, and like that scene mm -hmm. over there. She kind of shrugs. You already have enough. I run up. Okay. And I take my knife out. <laughs> and I say, 
she kind of eyes you and then uh, like kind of unsheaths like a, or like reaches for like a large uh like a, a semi-large hammer that sort of leaned up against one of the cages kind of gives you like the side eye i'm gonna tell this per what's the name what's the i don't know this this trig trig I'm gonna say Trig. I think they might have enough already. You're right. Maybe you and me can just hang I out here. I say, no. Both of you are coming with us. We could always <laughs> use one more. Make I'm not putting my neck on the line without the proper <laughs> amount of people in this party. Don't You're forget. coming with me, or I'm gonna skin you. Do I arcane blast him? <laughs> Do I do a do I do a totally, history check to see who the hell totally. this Grillin Kai is? <laughs> you want to make a history check for your can your I memories do a history, around Can I do Grillin? anything to see why I wouldn't kill Grellin right now? Make an insight check while uh, yeah, while you. Grellin makes a persuasion or an intimidation check, whichever your fancy is. Intimidation to who? To Trig. I me and Trig. Can I? Oh, uh, the person you just ran up with Raximus a knife, uh, for for him. Uh, questioning my methods twice now? Yeah, absolutely, you can. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to use the insight check normal? that he rolled. Yeah, just normal, unless otherwise specified. Okay. It's pretty intimidating, Raximus. You're, uh, I turn to Raximus, and I hold... I take out my other knife, and I cross him, like, as if I were, like, some kind of ninja or something, and I... And I just walk up towards him with my crazy goblin eyes, just <laughs> like this. And I say, <laughs> what's an elephant like you doing undermining a goblin like me? Um, Is that the wrong thing to say? <laughs> That's fine with me, man. <laughs> are we gonna get along on this on this expedition or are you gonna be a problem for me? I'm gonna say we'll see how long this goes. Can and I then do a I'll just lethal follow. strike on Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> Can I attempt to kill him now? <laughs> I mean you can do whatever you want, technically, I guess. I'm not the one to say no, but let's see what I happens. I won't do that. I'll, I'll, right. uh, For the best I'll wait until later. <laughs> you notice Trig okay, well, has completely turned her back to you guys again. Uh, <laughs> resumed her rope tying. <laughs> <laughs> Trodius has right. walked up. I'm just going to... I'm not out of... Uh, they can, uh, they're out of your shot, right? Uh, it depends on how loud you're speaking and if they're trying <laughs> to just, listen I'm to you. I'm going to tone it down a little. This is sure. a little, this is, I'm going to get a little private. Yep, around you, you have this, these guys have all assembled. There's all sort listen, of mingling. Smitty. Listen, oh, we're going out there to, huh? Huh? we're going out there to kill something. So yeah. Do you, you yeah. think you have what it takes to kill something? I got, Smitty? I got, I, I got my barrel. You know? Is that, Smitty, is that I got that my barrel. Kill? Smitty, I'm serious. You, you could die out there, Smitty. God looks at you confused. Smitty, do you, you you could die? Do you want to die, Smitty? Wait, like, wait. You're saying if I go with you, I yes, I you could die? could die, Smitty. Yes. Uh, wait. Why well, don't I don't know if I want to go with you guys anymore? Look, Big Bug wait, is. Wait, hang on. He's you guys, huge. Oh yeah, you guys already. That's you guys, correct. you guys already have Big Bug. You don't, I don't think you need me. Actually, I might go back into the tent. Yeah, I think that's best, Smitty. I think you should stay safe. Hey, guys. You guys got Big Bug already, right? Trig, I'm going to go back in the tent. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> he goes into the tent. All right. My, you guys hey, hey, Grillin, up there? Grillin I'm just leaving. Down I'm just bit. leaving. I'm going over with these guys. Gr Grillin, Grillin realizes he's, he's, his, his roid rage is calming down a little bit <laughs> in the interest of time because we need to get out of the starting zone. So, <laughs> Gr Grillin now is very agreeable to whatever's going on. <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the guys aside. Come, come on. Come on over here. Raximus. Cobalt Sorry, Big Bug. Growling. I'll be right let's, back. Let's have I'll a talk. Right back. Big Bug. Okay. I'll be right back, Big Bug. I'll go talk to Smitty. I'll what? see if he'll change his mind for you guys, okay? And he walks I don't the, want uh, him to change his tent. mind. He's a drunk fool. <laughs> he walks into the tent. Do we really want to take any of these people? I mean, Big Bug's big. That bird... 
that bird, well, the cobalt already insulted. He's probably not going to heal us. Uh, definitely aren't going to be able to take the other ones after after the whole thing with Grelin. Grelin just tried, we're gonna be Grelin tried to kill road. two of them. I also, uh, we only do have a two-person tent, and I don't really don't want to take Smitty. Also, me and Raximus are not <laughs> in the best <clears throat> terms right now. Guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think we made a pretty bad example with these guys. Uh, I, I I think we should just start fresh with the warriors <laughs> who are who are up ahead guarding the pass, <laughs> and we put on a really good show for them. We make them really impressed with how how, how tight of a squad we are. <laughs> We could do a whole campaign in this Dude, little I, circle. You guys have blown me away <laughs> with your performance so far. Well, let's, uh, I mean, do we want the bird in Big Bug? What about the shaman? We never even asked him. <laughs> I, I definitely think we should take as many people as we can, but. Hey, guys, yeah, I talked to Smitty. He said he'd go with you, but uh, he, doesn't want, he doesn't want to share yeah. the tent with the, the, the kobold. That's right. You could die out there, Smitty. Don't stop, want to man. Understand. Stop. Stop. He said I wouldn't die. The sheriff said I wouldn't die. Smitty, he said I wouldn't die. die. Stop. Okay. Stop. Right, Guys, no one is to die. Smitty. Everything's fine. Listen. All right. Here's just, here's. Listen. You upset Smitty. My plan was not for Smitty to be upset. He's like sort of sobbing quietly onto his barrel. I am exposing listen. you to the realities of this world. Show here's the deal. Okay. That red Shop. gem I gave you, it actually contains one single instance of a spell that can resurrect one person if you die one person can come back you hear that smitty one person okay smitty i'm not using that on you man okay. <laughs> i've been with these guys you have no idea what i've been through with these guys we should i'm not use using it, on... it I'm, I'm not using it on you <laughs> should use it on raximus after i kill him <laughs> That would be appropriate. You could do that. So it would kind of be a waste, in my opinion. But you know, maybe there's a reason you have to kill someone up ahead and you know bring them back. And maybe that's why I'm giving this to you as a narrative plot device. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, Shaman, where do you think the best place we could head to uh, find this terror rack is at? You said you, the warm gets, areas. Well, where's the warm area? He moves right up into your into your personal space, but Sodius, listen, you don't have to call me Shaman. We've been together so long. Just call me Gobbo. It's totally fine. I still yeah, call him Cobalt Cobalt. That's true. But his name is actually Gert. So Cobalt is pretty much like, you know, a better name than Gert, anyways. Honestly, it's almost a little racist at this point <laughs> that you haven't started calling me by my name. <laughs> But I anyways, listen, I've been calling you're gonna, you that as well, the cobalt. <laughs> you're going to cross the river, okay? You're going to look for the, for Gerald and Sydney, who are advanced fighters. Uh-huh. Hopefully, they've scouted the appropriate territory and have a location in mind for where the baby terrorist might be. And then fighting the baby terrorist, listen, you'll want to be at the top of your game, okay? So if you guys are feeling rough, if one of you is dead... It might not be a good idea to go up against it. Mm. Now, all four of you by you? yourselves, maybe, maybe if you're clever, you could take them. I think you'll all need at least seven of us. I think seven no, of you will no. be good. Probably be good. Wait, I'm not going with you. Well, right. well, I, I wasn't counting you, God. I was. Thank God. I mean, would you like to come with us? Not at all. It was rude of me not to ask. It wasn't. Consider it, in fact. Would you say? I mean, it sounds Gobble. pretty. Dangerous. <laughs> a terror rack? What kind of combat terrorist. usually takes place when fighting a terrorist that's a terror rack? Well, so the terror rack has uh, these big claws and these big teeth and a big tail. Mm -hmm. And essentially, it will use all of those things to uh, either eat you or smash you into a pulp. But there's no magic. Oh, no. No, there's no magic. It's just a, it's a very primal beast. It's like, you know, it's why the tribe is here sort of together, you know, you kill this very primal beast. It's sort of like an overcoming of uh, maturity. You're growing up. You're becoming a man, Cholius. Become a man, Cholius. Use life. Buy the, the, the teeth or the horns. I don't know if they have horns. I've actually never seen one. 
Not that you mentioned it. Gabo, Gabo, yep. what do you know yes, about yep. this? Is there any weakness to this thing that we have to hunt that you have never known? in their adult form are practically unkillable. They have immunities mm -hmm. to every kind of damage. Mm -hmm. They have Im magic immunities. Literally impossible to kill. But the baby version... Mm -hmm. way easier and again i can't stress it enough this is the only window we really have to kill this thing so it's kind of all or nothing that's why we kind of make we hype it up so much you know we smoke the we smoke the ball we smoke the bong you know we did that mm -hmm. you guys did mm -hmm. that well he didn't do that but you guys did that yeah i'm here to kill okay not get yeah, high okay Corvo. that sounds good mm. uh i think we're ready to go yeah, I say let's pack it up and let's get moving across that river. <laughs> All yeah, right, you guys are gonna be good to go. Smitty, come on. You guys come are looking on, good. Smitty, don't worry. Everybody's looking I, uh, so good. I, I, I gather up with with uh, with the dwarf and the kobold and Raximus, and I ask, "Would you like me to persuade the shaman to come?" No, no. 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 He's sort of, he's he's sort of waving at shaman. you. No. Aqua's, he's got his hand on his knife. He's like ready to pull it out. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay, man. The third person within 10 minutes. Big Bug puts uh, a hand on Grelin's shoulder and he, and he tries to console you a little bit. He goes, Big Bug. Bug? Big. Bug. Big Bug. That's right, Big Bug. I look big at him bug. confused, not knowing what the fuck that means, but I, I like sort of understand and just, all right. I, sh I leave big. my dagger sheathed bug for big. once. Big bug. <laughs> big bug. Uh, okay. The goblin uh, takes off his little, like, uh, <clears throat> crown or bone helmet and, like, waves it in the sky. And, like, I will fly. See you guys later. Come back here if you have any questions or need anything else. You die, I guess. Okay. Thanks. Not Blue gonna Bob. happen. So you guys Stay all right wearing uh, your, oh, your tribal. as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He is also a goblin. Weird. Yeah, it's weird you guys didn't kiss. I thought you'd. I thought you were gonna. I kiss. would have kissed him if I knew kissed. he were a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it wasn't obvious. I mean, like fond of one another. Can, can he's, I, got, can I, he's got. the can face. I do a history check, or, or can I just ask if, yeah. if that's the same one that was like our seller of the in the? Of course it was. It's yeah. Gabo. Okay. okay, Gabo. Yeah, it was. Just, yeah. I, I didn't remember if it was Gabo from the. Yeah, it's Gabo. The you probably place. don't even remember the names of the people we're gonna go meet on the trail. So yeah. uh, you know, it, if you take a moment to, to reflect about it, maybe there was a conversation going on. You're sort of in a moment of your own reflection. Mm -hmm. It's obviously very uncanny that this uh, person seems to be aware of information that you're not memories that you don't have access to that he seems to have more memories about mm -hmm. um and he's seemingly knowing and telling you what to do here mm -hmm. that's really weird too what's all that yeah. about yeah very I strange should have threatened him <laughs> <laughs> he's the one that helped us last time though yeah why well, and and that went great so why oh, wouldn't yeah, that went great <laughs> if we're going to do a feat of strength i'm in it doesn't matter who's telling us mm -hmm. to do it <sighs> Wait, this is the path out, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you went, as soon as you guys are ready, I didn't want to interrupt your RP We're session. You're in prayer. Okay, I will activate the next map. It will be clickable. Wow, that took a ridiculous Come on, Smitty, there's way so longer than I here. ever anticipated it would. Yeah, I know. That was like a 10 minute thing that we did yeah. three hours. This map is, the, this is the Giga map that I'm loading for you guys. No so problem. You should Please. see it. It's that's called the, Jungle. That's the fun part. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's really loading. The jungle is really loading, guys. Yeah, it might you take a minute or two. percent or... Yeah. It doesn't oh, seem to be loading. Oh, never oh, mind. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It might take a minute. <sighs> Giga map. It's big. Yeah, okay. It's really big. <laughs> it's really I like that, <laughs> that the jungle music is still going. Yes, we're, we're in the jungle. And, and, uh, let me I'll, let me refresh me now that I'm here. And then so you guys kind of uh, it's just a short trail it comes out into a, a little bit more of a clearing. You can tell the ground here has been trotted on before. It's clear that there's a, a path here, um, a little bit carved out of the mm -hmm. woods. Seems like you guys have had settled up camp here for a little bit of time. Uh, the three mm -hmm. travelers with you don't look too shocked to be in this area either, and they are ready to follow up, uh, follow with you. Does their name show up when I click them? No, but yeah. I know who they are. Yeah, yeah good. No worries. I know who they are. Come Echo's on, big bug. Friend. Let's get moving. We got to cross that river before nightfall. I'm going to say, I want Echo to follow me. I like Echo. Did someone say Ghrelin? Uh, no, sorry. They're they're going to, I'm just going to, you guys, they're following you. But for all intents uh, and purposes, 
Guys, they might be a little funny. Yeah. Sure. What did the shaman say about a fork? Uh, big bug. Do you remember if the shaman said which way we have to go? Bug, yeah, bug, big, big bug, bug, big. Lead us through the river. Bug, big, big bug. Could you could you lead bug us through the river, big bug? Do you know where the river is? Bug, big. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna ask drunk boy. I'm gonna say, hey, yeah. do you know where the river is? Oh man, I I I'm the navigator of the group. So glad you asked me. Let me check my barrel. And he like turns his back to you, and he looks at the barrel that he's holding, and he like lifts the lid a little bit. Glad and he like looks inside, guy. and he like he's whispering <laughs> to the barrel. He's like, huh, huh, huh. huh? And then just as you're focusing, he slams the top down. I have never been to the river before. Oh, this guy's useless. But so, if you look right, over there, right. he points to the northeast. You can see a giant waterfall uh, over the oh. tops of the trees in the distance. Actually, uh, once you came out of the clearing, over the tops of the trees, the way the terrain sort of shifted and slanted, uh, the sky opened up a little bit and gave you a little bit of a perspective view. Um, mm -hmm. You can see in the distance... Uh, you're if, if a mountain, essentially, towering up higher than where you guys are. Um, you can even look south, and you can see further down um, the mountain. You guys are elevated right now, sort of in between the peak of this mountain and the bottom. It's a very large uh, cliff. You can see out for, for uh, you can see over, so sorry, let me rephrase this. To the north, you see the mountain continuing upward like you're on the mountain itself. Mm -hmm. To the south, you don't see much, but there isn't a mountain. Therefore, you give, you know, you ascertain that that's the slope down. So there's more sky to your south. But to the north, there's a large mountain with a very large waterfall coming down from the top of it, trees growing out from the side in big bunches, sort of like what's around you. Where there's waterfall, there's river. All right, so let's go to the east. I'm thinking northeast, I guys. I think we go down because I watched Bear Grylls a lot and rivers are always downhill. We can what? see the river, Grelin. I'm looking at the waterfall is right there. I'm no, technically a waterfall, you know, it, a river. It becomes or it has to become a river. Yeah, it becomes a river, but is it the same? Grelin watched a lot of survival oh, shows and big he bug. knows oh, the downhill. Grelin okay. tried to kill two of our best friends two yeah. seconds Grelin ago. Grelin agrees with the waterfall idea. That's fine. <laughs> uh, you guys hear a small barking come from uh, south, southeast. A little barking. Barking. It's a little dog. Like a dog. A little dog barking. Hey, who is that over there? Huh? Who? Who's walking? Who's walking over there? You upset the dog? Oh, it's just you guys. Hey. Oh, it's just you guys. What's going on there? Oh, all... hey. hey. It's me. Oh, it's hey, me, Greg. Man. It's so good to see you again. Greg. Yeah, it's me. It's Greg. Hey, what's up? It's you. me, Greg. Yeah, it's me and Greg. It's Greg. Greg, Greg right, and Fred. Uh, Fred? Sydney. Fred's. No, Sydney. Yeah. yeah. The warrior? Yeah. Oh, no, he's across the, the river. Warrior? Oh. How do we cross a river? Well, you walk across it usually. Swim if it's deep. Okay. Thanks, hmm. Greg. Where, Interesting. Yeah, where no problem. is the river? <laughs> it's east, Greg. mainly. You seen the waterfall, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you is that over there? You hear a voice further, further uh, to your east, south, southeast, that direction. Oh. Who is that? Oh, oh, wait, Fred. It's just the guys from the camp. No worries. Oh, is that? Is that Bog Big? Bog Big. Bug big, big bug, uh, big bug, uh, mate. Oh, it's been so long, big bug. Oh, mate. I love big bug. It's good to see you, guy. big bug, big bug. You don't get out hug? here much, big bug. Big bug doesn't get out here much, huh? No, uh, man, we love big bug though. Whenever he comes around. Yeah. All right, big bug. I'll see you later. Um, and ask, uh, how long's it been since we seen you guys? Oh, well, uh, you know, we came here a couple days, you know, we set up camp, you know, we're not really the ritualistic type, me and Fred out here. <laughs> so we kind of sit out here, tend to the, you know, the fire, 
<sighs> we're sort of the lookout, the post, sort of the out, the mm-hmm. outposts. Yeah, we don't like. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't do. The, we don't really partake in the whole. You know, the smoking and the, the wacky yeah, tobacco. Like the wacky. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's a great. That's a great term for it. Actually, I like that a lot. Wacky tobacco. I might coin. Mm-hmm. I might. Tell, I might steal that one. Nice. Yeah. You think that like messes up? Fred, the brain did you hear that? Long term. Wacky tobacco. He didn't hear me. <laughs> what was that? It's okay. So you guys yeah, edited the uh, Fred again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred, where's the best place to cross this river? Oh, sorry. My name's Greg, Greg, mate. I'm so, I'm Greg. Sorry, Fred's Greg. over there by the well. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Speak to him with some respect. Yeah, Greg. I want to know how to cross the river to get to Fred. Right. Fred's right. down there by the well. He just yelled at you. Said hi to Bugbear, then we walked walked over there a bit. I'm sorry, I took too much wacky tobacco. Yeah. All right, as yeah, okay. guys are high as fuck. You guys are going to kill to the uh, the old terror, the baby terrorist, huh? Isn't it? Yes. Yep. That'll be quite a feat. <sighs> well, where can we cross the river? Let's. Go. Well, the best place probably. Uh... <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> I just really lost my accent of capabilities for some reason. Oh, if you head up a little bit there, towards the more shallow part of the river, there's some stones where we do some fishing round. You could just, uh, you know, probably safest to cross there. I wouldn't go too much further up or down. You never know. Wildlife and all that. Can what I pet What kind of supplies Kyle's can you dog? spare for us? Well, you take whatever you... You take, you, you know, you take, you know, it's, what's, what's ours is what's yours. Technically, we're all part of the same tribe here, mate. You have some... some we got some, we got some tomatoes. Around. You know, we got lots of tomatoes, lots of naturally growing tomatoes in the area, so you can have one of those if you like. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna Fred go just finished digging I'm just the cistern. Go in and walk inside his tent. You're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jody is just so unconcerned yeah. with there is, uh, any sort of relationship. A bedroll. Uh, the stuff? There's a, like a, a barrel of tomatoes has been knocked over. <laughs> And uh, one that's standing upright that's out of sight. And there's a barrel that smells funny. Let Next me open the these roll. barrels. Yeah, the one barrel is tomatoes, and the other one is closed. But you want to open it? Well, I'm going to put those tomatoes in my bag. How many tomatoes do you want to take? Until it's very <laughs> full. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you can add as many tomatoes as if you want to take all of them, you have to pick up the barrel, I would imagine. I'll, so you I'll can take either about twelve tomatoes. Okay, add you can add twelve tomatoes to your inventory. <laughs> I don't know that I have an item for a, a tomato. How do I add a tomato? Just uh, just write it down somewhere. Twelve tomatoes. Oh. Here, wait, where's your where's your okay. inventory? And then write it down. Oh, yeah, twelve tomatoes. I done twelve tomatoes. Let me think. Jackie, twelve tomatoes. Got it. Yeah. Okay, Plus 12, 12 tomatoes. tomatoes. Did you get it? Hey, Fred. Here, let me I'm, add. I'm going to start walking towards Fred, too, because, you know, I want to see this well and stuff over here. Hey, Fred. Fred? Can I Hold pickpocket on. Kyle? Who's Kyle? Okay, I think I've added the tomato to Are your inventory. You did? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I knew there was a weird hockey. I knew there was one of the hockeys I forgot about, dude. I fucking mm. knew it. That was the one. Okay, noted. Anyways, uh, I added a tomato to your inventory. Just make a note that there's 12 of them. Thank you. No problem. Mm. We'll count it as a ration. So you got some rations now. Um, sorry, what did someone else ask me something? I asked hmm? if I can pickpocket the Australian guy. Greg? You called him Kyle. <laughs> right. uh, that's what confused Greg. me, I think. <laughs> <Sorry>. Kyle. <laughs> He's sort of engaged with you and Raximus right now. I mean, you can... You can still Just try. Play, you know, if you want. Play, you if you have like a plan to yeah, maybe like right, yeah. slink try, away. I'm to talking to Raximus and hey, I. Hey, mate. How, how are you doing there, bud? I just, I feel like he's right. hold, withholding something useful to our. He sees you. He sees I, you approach him. He's, he's uh, obvious. He's okay. You're, you're in his space. You're in I his ask bubble. If he, I ask if he's ever seen um, a magic trick. And I oh, well, begin to I, do I the s- one with the, the cloth and the fake thumb to distract him. <laughs> You're distracting him. How are you gonna... Yeah, okay, he is, he's watching, and he is distracted by you. 
Go on, Growlin. What, what are you gonna do next? What are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead. He's Take actually he's watching you do it, and then you do it a few more times, and then he's like still watching you do it. At the point where it's what like, Grelin? <laughs> Grelin just wanted to do a magic <laughs> trick. <laughs> hasn't actually attempted to rob anyone before and doesn't really know the best way to go about this. <laughs> oh uh, god, dude. Grelin just completes the magic trick and kind of just backs away. <laughs> right, mate. That was the right good magic there. Magic. Yeah, we don't get a lot of magic. Are you a, oh wait, oh wait, wait a second. Are you a, are you a magic user magic user, isn't he? I knew it. It was a good one. That was a good one. Oh yeah, right, bugbear. <laughs> There's something going on uh, with UC Chum. <laughs> Talking to Fred. Hey Fred. Huh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Fred's the name. Poopin's my game. <laughs> Fred, look, we gotta go kill this this uh Terrorac. Yeah, Terrorac. well, I don't do that kind of business. I'm I the, I'm the poop Fred. hole digger, the, cis, the cistern are, maker. You know what I mean? That's why I'm not in the main camp. No one wants to poop in the main camp. I, Fred, I get that, but listen. Did you guys poop in the main camp? You got vomit on you, son. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, Fred. You Fred, can use the cistern if you want. Thing. The terrorist. Fred, listen to me, yep. Fred. Yep. Fred. Yep. I need your stuff. <laughs> Wait. What's your name? Fred, that doesn't, that's, this does, that doesn't, that's not important right now, Fred. What's important is we have to go kill a terror. Have you ever seen one of them? Hell no. Terror? It's scary stuff, Fred. Yep, I've seen the okay, tapestry. We don't we kill got. it. We don't kill it, Fred. That's it's a great good, tapestry. My Nana made that one. So glad it's safe and snug in the, t in the tent right now. <laughs> Fred, listen to me. <laughs> Anything that can help in this journey, Fred. We need it. Well, you guys can use the cistern if you need to use the bathroom before you go, I guess. Man, God, I love just, think, just thinking about that tapestry it brings me back. God, I wish someone, I, yeah, my I wish man, someone would pickpocket this guy. Worked so hard on that thing. I'm over to <laughs> Chodius, and I'm going to say, can you give this man his tapestry back, and maybe he'll give us some something good? Are you guys listening? To, are you guys over? Are you guys eavesdropping on Zuchum's conversation? From these, like, I, I from thought this it was it's away. sort of it's sort of a simultaneous thing. So while the thing with oh, Aqua okay, was mind. going on, okay. no problem. It's totally fine to inquire. I'd rather be like. Let's no, back up a little bit like, right, Rather back. than you guys you not distance ask on this. Oh, okay Yeah, it's 40 feet Yeah, that's exactly right Yeah, so it's like a bit. It's yeah. a bit far, yeah So you see them talking okay. So if you want to get close and listen in, you can But um, you might not come in good. at that point of the conversation I no do way. not know about the conversation I'm good with it So you just walk well, up and show What's going on? I'm going to say Hey, bugbear Big bug? Big bug Big bug <laughs> Who's bug bear? <laughs> bug and then bear. I'm gonna go and try and lift up this log. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a uh, like a dead rotted log. Looks like it's been sitting here for a few days. It's a lot heavier than the other two logs. It's a lot bigger too. Mm -hmm. A bug, Straight big roll. bug, a bug, big, yeah, bug. I gotta stop saying yeah, dude. He doesn't say yeah. He only says his name. That's his thing. Yeah, make a straight check. <laughs> I'm sorry, a lot of characters. Okay, it's pretty good. So you kind of how describe how you're lifting this trunk. So I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. Don't light yourself on fire. <laughs> With the fire. <laughs> or maybe do like stance, wide stance, bend at the knees, a squat, and then mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my hands under there mm -hmm. and get the log in the cradle of my elbow oh, right through the mm -hmm. dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then nice. I'm gonna use my legs mm, to bring forklift. myself back up. Mm -hmm. You, how high are you trying? What's the what's the goal you're trying to lift this? Get it up to like like chest height, like you standing uh, chest. You yeah. get it to a very respectable belly button. Mm. Mm. And, and Big Bug play is off impressed. Like that was my plan. Big Bug is yeah. impressed. Yeah. He he is, cool. he gives you the light jazz clap again, nods his head approvingly, thumbs up. You get the sense maybe you're making him feel like a little like useless. Oh, you know what I mean? He's like, he's oh, really, great. he's really looking no up way. to you now. You know what I mean? Do he's I see how sad quiet. he looks? Like, does Making he have like a sad face or anything? Yeah, kind of. It's not that bad. It's not uh, that obvious. But, you know, he's kind of like, he's not as enthusiastic as he was before in, in his proudness. Okay, I'm going to walk over towards where this bucket is. There's, okay. Uh, there's a bucket in the tent. Yep. 
and I'm going to pretend like I'm trying to pick up a bucket. Okay. But I can't. I'm going to go, and then I'm going to go, big bug, help, big bug. Big, and then I'm not going to pick up the, the I'm not going to pick up big the bug? thing. Yeah. Big, oh, and he walks up, and he looks at what you're trying to do, and he kind of yep. gives you, like, this weird, like, uh, are you mm-hmm. sure? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to point to it my, with, my, with my big trunk. Yeah. And what are you going to do when you point to it? I'm going to say, help, big bug. And he points at the bucket, and he, he goes, yep. big bug? And I'm going to say, big bug, pick it up. Big bug. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> Don't patronize big bug. He's a Make a tool. perception check. Perception check? Yeah. Okay. Roll the dice. Not twice. Uh, normal, correct? Yeah. Mm. Oh god, I'm rolling terrible. Okay. Um, I'm picking up that bucket. He's not. He's not <laughs> picking up the bucket, and it's confusing why. It. It looks like he could, and it looks mm-hmm. like he knows that you're trying to. It looks like he's, he understands you're pointing at the bucket. Mm-hmm. He doesn't add up. You're missing something mm-hmm. from this picture. Big bug lore. I don't know. I'm, big gonna, bug lore. I'm gonna watch this for a minute. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just yeah, that's fine. And that kind of all happened within like a minute. You know what I mean? So that's mm-hmm. totally fine. You're mm-hmm. holding it for like 30 seconds. It lands on the ground with like a go, and it kind of like, like dust kind of picks up. Uh, you know, everyone kind of turns and looks as it, as you do it. Mm. Big bug looks. Big well, bug let's looks. Get back to that river. Big bug. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the mm-hmm. river. Big bug. Fred, you have, <laughs> b- and you have not helped at all. Um, if we die, I, yeah, I, we'll toss you in the I cistern with ter- all the other I bodies. Hope it eats you first. <sighs> That's I fine. hope it kills you first. If you guys kill it, it won't kill me. I, but I if see I why die, you're out here digging I'll shit holes, Fred. Okay. <laughs> That's my job, shithole Fred. Yeah, That's my yeah. name. Why don't, shit yeah, get back Fred. to work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will. Thanks for the thanks for the thanks for the feedback. Shut up, shut up, Fred. Shut up. All right, guys, thanks for coming around. It's always nice seeing you. Hey, don't forget to uh, not die out there and, uh, you know, bring back that little baby uh, dinosaur, whatever you got there. And uh, me and old Fred will be waiting here for you. Little little doggy here will be waiting. Always a, always a pleasure, leaving, Greg. Big bug. As we're leaving, Grillin just asks, you know, over his shoulder just one more time, are you the two warriors that the shaman was talking about? Oh, oh, me, me, and me and Fred. No, Fred digs shit holes. Yeah, that shit hole, Fred. He's not a warrior. He's not a warrior. <laughs> I'm not you a warrior. I, I tend to, the, <laughs> I tend to the food. You're looking for uh, uh, what was their names? It was Sydney and uh, Gerald. Gerald, yeah. Sydney. I and like Gerald. Sharon better. Who's Sharon? Not me. Uh, not Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you get you come back to this, the beginning of the camp here again, and uh, Smitty and, and Echo did not follow you into the camp. They just kind of hung out around. Smitty's kind of leaning against his barrel. Uh, he's talking to Echo, and Echo's literally just like repeating words back to him. And they seem to be carrying a conversation though. Mm-hmm. Grelin, where they where the other two guys go, Grelin? I don't oh, they're know. already up ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they're gone. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, guys you guys snuck right through there. I didn't even see you get by. You guys, you guys see where the other two went? What? Smitty looks over and goes, "Yeah, they're it's just uh, to the east. They right? went up ahead. They followed the uh, the old uh, the trail." Yeah. Oh, uh, Smitty, why don't you lead the way? All right, this way. You saw where they went, yeah. Watch your footing up here. It gets a little sloppy. Oh, oh hey, wise. boys. <clears throat> Oh, look who it is. Look who Why ran off. Up the mountain. Uh, so anytime there's these little like cliffs here, essentially it's mm-hmm. just difficult terrain. So this is about, it's like half as much movement. This is not a very large hill in front of you, though. You can move up that without any problem. No problem. You can get, you can get right through it. Yep, which takes a little effort. I'm gonna go. The only time it would be like uh, a check is if you're like under a duress sort of situation or carrying 20 tomatoes type deal this one is pretty Can I light. do a backflip up that up that like super mario 64 you want to try to do just a, to impress everybody a backflip up yeah i mean yeah, yeah i would like can. that go for it. making an athletics an athletics check for me 
I'm watching intently. I'm, I'm watching this feed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone stops, looks. <laughs> <laughs> so describe to us uh, how you do the backflip up this. Uh, or what well, describe how like you imagine Mario it. Mario yeah. 64, <laughs> I put my back to the cliff and I attempt to do a mighty leap. <laughs> tuck, tuck in my legs, tuck up. And do and and extend beautifully as I reach the top of the cliff, absorbing the impact, and just landing perfectly on my bent knees at the top of the cliff. That's what I attempted to do, but yes, yes. My, you, uh, you you see yeah, that you clearly know. in your in your mind's eye. You envision it as you leap, yeah. and as it's unfolding in your head, uh, a sharp twinge of pain as you <laughs> land on the corner of the rocks with mm. your back. Just like straight, like you extend and just like on the, yep, right on there. All the wind goes out of your, your. <laughs> my goblin back. If you look over, uh, Bug Bear is, uh, Big Bug is uh, giving you the golf clap. Hey, do why'd I you take any damage from no, this? No damage for that one. Hey, why'd okay. you do that? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I. <laughs> I wanted to look cool in front of Raxus. You, you gotta get it together, okay? <laughs> <laughs> listen, I I know what you were going for, but you. <laughs> I grew up playing Mario sixty four in the nineties. I thought it would be <laughs> exciting for all of us. <laughs> Just, okay, you're lucky, you're that lucky that Raxmus didn't see that, okay? <laughs> Okay. What? Like, I won't yeah, say anything, over but... here to the right. Mm. And I'm oh, going to hey, look around this area. What do I see? Um, From where you're... You, are you, like, trying to peer into the woods? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very uh, dense brush alongside uh, the sort of, like, makeshift trail that you've been following so far. Um, Is they, there no trail to the that way? Yeah, so that's what I'm... where he's looking into the woods, no, it definitely patches back over. Uh, it's uh, very we dense. have to go up if we want to go. You guys up. can yeah, walk through I, the woods if I you want, and I come back. But I wouldn't, you know, necessarily advise it. You know, walking through the woods in an unknown jungle territory probably isn't a great idea. Okay, what's what's this ahead of us? This is a larger cliff. It. it just takes. Uh, so this is a, a little bit larger, it's about twelve feet instead of the mm -hmm. previous one. So it does take a little bit of climbing ability to get up. Everyone just has to make me. An athletics check to climb this Chodius, this, can I have a tomato? this hill. There's lots of little footholds and and rock things you can grab onto. It's not a difficult climb. I give you one tomato. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, my menu disappeared. Double click your character. Yeah. yeah uh, so when I double click my character, it just comes up with all my owned items. Uh, you're in inventory, you right? Yeah. Just click uh, the tab at the top. Attributes no under your picture. Yeah, there's no tabs. Are you left clicking or right clicking? Left clicking. Sorry, it just brings it. up your no you problem. See where it says inventory? No. Yeah, that's what I get when I left my double click my guy. You have to refresh then. Yes, it might require a little refresh action. Okay. Yeah, something did get weird earlier. Uh, so as you guys are climbing this. Um, yeah, Chodius, you're good. Grelin, you make it up, no problem. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? Just an athletics check. I'm going to yell to, to Chodius to see if he sees anything up there first. Chodius, what's up there? Jungle. All right, I'll come up because I'm a big fat, you know, I'm a big fat uh, elephant. It's hey, Grelin, you want to try and backflip up this one too? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you don't make it up with, up. with with the three racks of us. Yeah. So do I have to roll again, or how do I do that? Uh, so essentially, if it was, yeah, you do have to roll again because you didn't pass the the thing. If there was like a, if you didn't, if if there was, if this was a, a much tougher test, you might re reap some sort of consequence for failing. But we're just climbing a, a small cliff side. Wait, it's not like you're gonna fall and break athletics your leg. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Okay. Because you're climbing. Mine too. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Is your acrobatic skill higher than your athletics? Pick whichever yeah. one's higher. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. You pick and roll whichever one's higher for there yourself. Go. Cool. There You're there. Go. You made it up with that. No right. problem. Cool, cool. And then uh, bug, uh, Big Bug has to help both Smitty and Echo get up. They both struggle without his help. 
you can mm. you see him. He like gives them both a foothold to get up, a little bit boost. What a nice guy. He's very very Thanks, considerate. It takes him a few tries himself to get up, but he too makes it. And then everyone they're just looking down at uh, Gert, who's frozen in time with a little loading yeah. symbol. Oh yes, I forgot head. that was happening. Gert, Gert <laughs> seems to be he's taking a little nap or something. He's I'm disconnected. Let me connect. Uh oh. Okay, I rolled 18. I do a cool flip just to, you know, just show off. Nothing special, just like an easy, simple, just like front flip. 360, you know. Up, 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 simple foot up the cliff, up the 13 cliff foot wall. Yeah, I'm up <clears> the <throat> wall, okay? I mean, that's, I mean, I'll say... We learned, <coughs> that we learned this in Kobe if that's school. your intention, then roll again. So they're going to count yeah. that disadvantage. No problem. Interesting. So and actually, yeah. actually, instead of athletics, roll disadvantage. Roll acrobatics at disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. At disadvantage. <clears throat> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Simple. Five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's about that's about more appropriate, I think, for what the level of performance we were mm -hmm. anticipating. So it's similar. Curious. Similar. Uh, <laughs> how do you uh, how do you see this? Front flip playing out. Uh, just a normal front flip. Just a, you know, like a simple. It's sort of like, uh, have you ever seen someone like dive roll into something? It's like that. <laughs> you just like dive roll into the side of the cliff. <laughs> just like, uh, uh, boom. Uh. Good thing no one saw that, right, guys? <laughs> Good thing. I hear you I'm down here for to. so long that no one saw. <laughs> I'm going to act very casually and do a cartwheel flip down the, <laughs> down the cliff. Jesus. Okay. 13 feet, but I like this. Go for it. Make, uh, make your acrobatics check. You know, not, not a disadvantage because you're jumping down the cliff. Acrobatics, yeah. Okay. Okay. You also eat shit. Yeah. Three. Yeah. yeah, you eat shit. That's pretty great. So, like, you... you <laughs> I'm assuming you see Gert a try, <laughs> attempt, fail, and you're like, I fucking got it. So go ahead and describe to me what your dwarf brain is thinking. Well, and before you can even react, your foot slips and you tumble forward, <laughs> neck, neck first into the ground, 10 feet down. And then we're going to do, we are going to do some damage for this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just 1d6. Yeah, so you take three smashing damage. On this cliff, our whole party dies. <laughs> so, so three damage, you take say. Three damage. Mm. Take three damage. Mm. There you go. Mm. I, I, I applied it appropriately. Thank you, yes. You're welcome. And then I'm going to get up and be like, ah. kind of playing it off like that was my plan to get down there. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the kobold. <laughs> Are you willingly and letting him pick you toss up? Toss him off. No, I'm gonna toss wiggle a little bit. Oh, he's he's resisting. Kick a little. Not a lot. Just oh, okay. a little bit, of, like right. a toddler resisting right. being taken to bed. And so of. he, he kind of tosses you up. Do you like try and grab the top? Eh, not really. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm a little okay. disoriented. All right. I just don't, well, we're, I just don't well, face her we're to gonna face into a cliff. We're gonna roll for it in that case. Then so go ahead and make a strength check for me, Jody. I'm just being <laughs> tossed around. I'm like concussed a little bit. Okay. Make a strength check for me, okay. Jody. please just make a strength oh, oh, check. Okay, okay. Yeah. Or for athletics. Tossing whatever. Your, your heart, your, your just click race. athletics. Just click athletics. Oh well, I Amazing. That's God. fine. You know what? Thank Amazing. Really He's wriggling, dude. There. You know what? You grab him by uh, the one piece of cloth hmm. that's uh, like considered the underwear and like atomic wedgie him, leveraging <laughs> him in your hands, launch his ass, like fireman toss up. And, you know, bug, big bug looking impressed. Revitalized with this performance, <laughs> he is looking like he's flexing. He's looking big and excited. Two birds, one stone, Trodius. You're up there. Mm. All right, now Trodius, now you're down the cliff. <laughs> Proceeds to run into the cliff. <laughs> and now I attempt to do a cartwheel flip. <laughs> All righty, leaning into his ego. Here, taking the one for the team. Uh, going to make a disadvantage. Uh, acrobatics. 
<laughs> yep, that's about right. Um, you manage to flip yourself upside down, and like you plant, like plank yourself against the cliff wall on top of your head. So you're upside down with your back against the wall, upside down. And you're, you stay like that because your center of mass is someone very better, strange for some, a dwarf. Someone better somersault down there and get him. My, my character's just like, he's just sitting down, hanging out, and like next to the trees, just waiting for these guys to finally get up the cliff. Yeah, other, other, so other than, like, Echo seems to be a little annoyed at this. Mm -hmm. she kind of, she's kind of watching and not really sure what to make out of it. Bug, Big Bug is entertained. Schmitty is talking to his barrel, but Echo is kind of like, God damn it. Who are these people? Where did they come so from? I go to Raximus and I say, why don't you lower down that long trunk of yours and and let let uh, Chodius climb up it like a rope. No, is because you can just, to go you down can there. Yeah, you can literally walk up this hill. It's not hard at all. So I'm no, not going to. This is the climbing one. He needs the help. He Maybe doesn't need I don't need help. Need help. Okay. He need help. Listen up. You hear from below. What was that? Doors aren't supposed to be acrobatic like goblins. Is he screaming down there? I think he's saying something. And then is I'm he just going to climb up. Okay. Yeah. You've successfully oh, climbed Jordan. this once before. So you successfully climb it again. I'm not gonna make you roll every time for something like that. Unless we're in combat or something. But it takes you it takes you a few minutes still. It takes a few minutes to climb the wall. So it takes you a few minutes. So overall, you have spent like yeah, you spent like a half hour here. Okay? It's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> well done. That cliff was crazy. That, you guys that think was the boss one. That was gonna boss one. Really, we're losing daylight. We need to keep moving. You think the Terax going to be like stronger than that cliff, guys? Or? I don't it's know. It's going to yeah. be an adult by the time we get there, and we won't be able to kill it. How yeah. many uh, years have gone by? Big Bug, you good? You good, uh, Big Bug? Big Bug, Big Bug. can't move now. Okay, Big good. Bug. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, I'm good. Big bug. Just checking on Big Bug. I don't give a I don't give a shit about I don't give a cobalt's ass about Big the bug. other two. Hey, Big bug. sure is a long way to the river. I tell you what. Big bug. Hey, whose idea was it to go this way? Big bug. I go oh, say no, that Big time. Bug. It wasn't. It wasn't your idea. Big Bug. Oh, oh, wow. Look. Oh my God, in the distance. It's like a, a slant uh, hill. It's like a slanted oh, downhill. It's not as uh, <laughs> it's not as uh, steep as the last one. It's just difficult terrain. You can move across it freely, but it's 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 not considered it's not considered climbing. You can move over it freely, but if it counts as twice as much movement, if we were in combat. Which, which way did he say the uh, said east, right? Uh, you can we see, yeah, you can see that you're a lot closer to the waterfall now. You can kind of see it. It's over. It's right to your northeast. In front of you, down this slope, yeah. ahead of you, is actually the entrance right. to a cave, however. Uh, along, so yeah. as you're kind of walking through the forest here, and you see the slope, mm. um, there is a little bit of a clearing, and you can now see the cliff face very clearly. Um, it's, it, it, you know, the cliff goes up very tall. Look at my mouth. In front of you. <clears throat> <laughs> Got blued. <laughs> Got a blue mouth. Very green. It's the mouth of a goblin. For me, you're like turquoise, honestly. I like to imagine you said all that in character in universe. <laughs> yeah. And as he as he does, you guys notice there's a cave, a cave opening to the north in the cliff face. There's a cave. Oh Krell, look at the cave. Yeah. Also, cave. also Krell, at this yeah, point <clears throat> have a look see in that cave, there might be some nice shinies in there. Is that like your parents' house or something? No, <laughs> I don't have parents. <clears throat> I thought goblins lived in these things. I've never seen one of these before. I was a boar in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and and do a little like jump slide on my ass Why and then jump? Why slide jump? on down there. All right, you do it. And then do whoo, there. Whoo, stand up, wipe off my ass, and keep on walking. It's a little dirty. Yeah, I'm just going to walk down. As I'm you said, it was easy to walk down. Yeah, it's pretty easy I'm to stand. Go ahead. Sorry. At the, at the, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I got really excited to show off the show to you. <laughs> I'm standing at the top. I say, hey, dwarf, look at this. 
and then I attempt to do a cartwheel flip in the exact same manner that he <laughs> attempted to do on the last hill right. in order okay. to rub it in his face. All right, do that. Yep. Yeah. This... <clears throat> Make an acrobatics check to see, first Sorry, of all. To it's totally this. fine. <laughs> I approve of it 100%. I love normal? it. I love it. Yeah, normal. <laughs> Uh, it's, beautiful. it's beautiful. It's <laughs> beautiful. Now, if you want to go one more and make a performance check on top of that to see, like, how, you know, like, theatrical and perfected it is in, uh, in like, the, you know, for the, the performance yes. value of it. Because right now, it just I looks will. like a very good so feat you of acrobatics. Did a I want to take out yeah. my two daggers and spin <laughs> them in my hands as I'm flipping good. down the thing. Yeah, tell me what you're doing before Shorty you go for it. slowly right. getting more interested. <laughs> so that way. Yes. As I'm falling, I spin my daggers around like a cool drummer would with his drumsticks, you know, that, like... Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm kind of mm -hmm. thing yeah just to like really show off to to chodius <clears throat> especially but also the rest of the party make a performance check performance for me. Yeah. Yeah. okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> you go to pull one I dagger out myself in the liver <laughs> by accident <laughs> on the way down it wasn't that bad but maybe a little <laughs> slice on the finger or one of the fingers or something and maybe okay. you fumble a dagger or something but you you still do the the front the, the cartwheel and it's observed like you did it you it nailed it it wasn't that cool you nailed like, that you did it. it just wasn't that cool <clears throat> it wasn't jason it wasn't it a jason Bourne movement cool. or anything like that and you have your daggers out now i suppose either one of you would be willing to carry me down there huh smitty smitty looks at you and goes you want to you want me to ask the barrel yeah smitty can i ride on the barrel no well, let me check and he goes over here and he opens the lid and he whispers something into it <clears throat> and closes it. Comes back around. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I dive down the hill. I just on my stomach. All right, <laughs> just you slide penguin. straight down. Yeah, like a penguin. You leave a little, a nice little. You leave what looks to be like if it was snow. You left the path in the dirt, almost as if it was snow. Sliding Perfect. down. <laughs> I like to see it as mud and just yeah, it's all over your front. Try to get some of the vomit off me and replace mm. it with mud. That's it, fine. It has been replaced with mud, one hundred percent. I look up at Big Bug and I say, "Hey, Big Bug, Big Bug." I hate that guy. This mini guy. I fucking hate that guy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, go is go. I think uh, I think a uh, cave going into the cave is uh, it's right up here. It's up here. It's to the left. Who's yeah. talking right now? Smitty. Who said that? Smitty was kind of saying Smitty. that okay. behind you guys. Oh, I Smitty. bet you're real excited to get in there, Smitty, aren't you? Huh? So as you guys approach Smitty, the cave. Can you ask the barrel uh, if it's a good call to go in this cave? He will. Make per Everyone make perception checks as you walk up to the cave. All right. Uh, mm. uh, and, uh, yeah, so do that first, and then we'll all have him ask. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Two. Perception, correct? Perception. Yeah. Normal. I'm yeah. not yeah. even aware that this is a cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear that it's a cave because there's like a hole in the wall and it gets darker and like turns in as you look kind of gaze into it. Roll the two. <laughs> <laughs> that will it's that it's like that's like saying there's a red barn there. Do you see the red barn? You see the red barn. I don't know. Maybe, roll the yeah. two. Maybe uh, not. <laughs> was it a one though? Um, but yeah, you know, okay. you're right. It's it's hard to see really anything. You're kinda heading towards it. Everyone else. Um, the mm -hmm. walls are s every once in a while you'll see something skittering along the cliff walls and this cliff goes up really far like it goes up pretty much as far as your vision lets you look at it and then it like it goes up uh, overhead of you as well so you don't actually see where it where it completely uh ends um but along the wall if you keep your eye open every so often you kind of see like a skittering like a little change in the light a little reflection up a little bit closer like a bug running upwards sort of like a bug Sort of like something crawling along the wall, maybe. Maybe two things crawling. Maybe a bunch of things crawling all at once. I don't want to go in there. And you kind of see this, and then you say the thing to Smitty. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, ask <laughs> Smitty uh, if he could ask his barrel if it's a good idea to go in here. He goes, uh, you know, barrel, she, I asked before, and uh, <clears throat> let's just say... All right. 
I hate this guy. What is Sorry, what is Schmitty, he saying? That's rude. But I hate you. He just trailed off. He didn't finish this. He didn't finish his thought. So he didn't. He didn't actually finish. He just stopped. He just of stopped. Of course talking. he stopped. He's drunk. He's drunk all the time. Listen. Of course Listen. he stopped. You see, a, you see the skittering. The see the skittering I again. Caves like this one. In fact, my cousin was a cave. Grimly <laughs> happened to be living a cave next to a waterfall. This could be his home. He happened Let's to rent out a, a nice cave. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take your advice and uh, I'll follow the dwarf in. See if Grimly's yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, big what do you cave? think about this? They uh, they are keen to follow into the cave. They're sort of looking around. Big Bug, especially, and Echo are kind of looking around at the woods, at the walls. As I, <clears throat> no, I can't run, can, I can't really roll a perception again as we walk in to see what the hell the cave is, right? Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna. Again? This is essentially one of the the holes in the map that will take us to another map. Okay, that yeah, that we'll just go so to you're the uncovering map. another map. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just move our guys a little bit. You found one of the holes. It's not a hole. It's not the most. Well, maybe it is an important hole. You never really know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll never see. Know which hole is the most important? Yes. Sorry, I gotta put tokens no on the board. Yeah, no worries. Do, 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 do. Mm. Wonderful, Z Chum. You have an open, you have an open PC there. What are you doing? Yeah, it overheated. Rotters got it too hot. I uh, I also opened mine, but I have to wipe my computer. So. How do you, you do to wipe it? Overheated. Because you can. I was watching the temperature <laughs> while yeah. I was streaming Marauders. Yeah, I how hot did it get? Hot. <laughs> like an oven when i took this side panel off yeah Ooh. all right <clears throat> the cave is open it should be appearing for you i'm going to refresh preemptively yeah refresh preemptively because we don't see it yet uh less no yeah i only see three. Oh, fuck where'd it go what the hell uh oh uh Amp okay. clear. Oh, there, there we is. go. Left, that was left corner. Corner. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, All right. Home. I'm going to pause the game here. So uh, as you guys walk in, uh, it gets mm -hmm. a lot darker. Uh, the sounds of the forest fade away and becomes mm -hmm. more of a, a silent ambience here. Uh, mm. Sounds of the cave begin to creep out which really aren't sounds at all more of a sustained silence you hear maybe some wind howling from the distance but it's a solid it's a solid minute or two walk into the cave passage here and it's just smooth stones not much sign of any wear or tear or items along the way what's the marching order here can um can i i'm in the lead okay yes can i can i um I don't know if I can do this now, but can I get an inventory check to see if there's any way to like be able to see before we walk in here? Like, like as we're walking, I say something like, "Does anyone have any torches or anything like that in the inventory?" Yeah, no, you can say that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna um, ask everyone, and I'm gonna say it real loud so everyone can hear. Like, oh man, it'd be really nice if one of us had a torch. I uh, Smitty, torch? Smitty 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 chimes in. He goes, uh, yeah, you know, I got uh, two people tent. This guy's got two person tent. You can take a little, uh, you and me. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Schmitty. I'll say thanks, Schmitty, thanks. and then I'll look at everyone else. Why don't you go pitch else. that outside, Schmitty? Right now? <laughs> yeah, no, why don't you, you, you me go? Schmitty, you're okay. You want me to go out? I hate you, Schmitty. You want me to leave? <laughs> I'd love that. You want me to go out the cave? Yeah. All right, right here, Schmitty. I'll see you. Thank God. We could use him as cannon fodder. He's gonna get us killed. Big I hate bug? that guy. Big bug. Not you, big bug. I love you. Big bug. You're good, big bug. Big bug. You got any torches on you? Big bug. Oh, okay. Uh, Anybody speak bird? Can I? Don't can worry, I get guys. I got dark vision. I can see every <laughs> nook and cranny of this. Yeah, I think game. most. I think like most I of you have dark vision actually. And what dark vision is essentially in lore, it's like you see everything, but I think it's black and white. So you don't necessarily okay. see great color, but you see, uh, you do see. see. 
Yeah. All right. Well, in that matter. case, we'll keep moving. I forgot we had dark sight. I don't think you do, though. So it's actually okay, very well, on I'm point gonna... that you asked. All right. That's very good that I asked then. I'm going to follow the dwarf and kind of try to stay right behind him. I like that Chody has bragged order. about the thing that we all have. Agrelon <laughs> <laughs> mm. and uh, Gur, are you guys taking up the rear? Oh, yeah. I'm always in the rear. I'm okay, always and, taking uh, up the rear. And how do you want Bugbear and Echo? Uh, they're good where they're at. Yeah, They're good. Bug okay. Bear left. Smitty left. Yeah. No one tried to stop him. So. Yeah, I hate that guy. He went back. I didn't outside. see you guys jumping to stop him either. So. Yeah, I mean, no one. Does anyone would have tried to stop him? I mean, no. I ca- no. I kind of right. liked him, but that's okay. Right. That guy sucks. I like this barrel. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I just told him to pitch a, pitch a ten outside. I mean, he's he'll he's be right there when we get there. back. Yeah, I think you have. I'm sure, yeah. he'll be there. You have light. Not taking Raxmus, by the way. I'm gonna cast that. That's a spell you have. Mm-hmm. You have that spell. Light. Me? If you want. Yeah. Mm. You're behind, not, I, you're behind the dwarf. Yeah. Oh, no, I you're can't good. click on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you just can't move right now, I think. Yeah, I, d- I didn't know I could click on stuff on horse. Uh, What's this light? Light. Yep, That's it's like a, a six trip. Yeah, you, get, sure, you cast it, it on something, and it gives you the uh, vision. Can I'll, I I'll give shoot you it out? Uh, how far can I shoot it? I think it goes 60 feet. You have, to pick an, you have to rock you, you have to see. pick an you can pick an item and it will cast from that item. So you can like tap it on your hat, for example, and your, your light would emanate from oh, your hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. tap on you my You did hat. that last time. Little, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little touch on my hat. And I'm pretty sure it's 60 us. feet bright light, <laughs> if I'm correct. Yeah. Yep, I believe so. Something okay. like that. Boom. So now uh, hey, so you. you tap your hat. How do you how do you do this? How do you cast the spell? Um I pull my my wonderful wand th- that I secretly have in my sleeve or whatever, and I pull yes. it out and just sort of spin my thing around and tap the old hat, and then okay. the hat uh, lights up. Kind of like it's also I want off. to know that the whole lo- the whole hat just lights up, like like not it's glowing, not one spot. I want it's the hat glowing. to light up. And yeah, uh, your hat, by the way, is you didn't ask nice about it wand. yet. We'll talk about it at all, by the way, since we started, which I'm very shocked about. But it's of, of a tribal nature. So it has, mm. it's made from like, you know, the same hide that the armor that you guys are wearing is made from. But it's a hat. It's got, but it's a hat, yeah. But, it's, but it looks mm-hmm. like, like, you know, like Crocodile Dundee style almost. Mm, very nice. Sure. Nice hat. There you Thank go. You. All right. Huh. So yeah, you guys. Uh, Can't li- see in the dark, can you, elephant? No. Sorry. So I lit the whole place up. Yes, you have done so. And uh, in front of you is uh, the cave kind of opens up as you walk through. Mm-hmm. The entrance, um, off to the right, you hear sort of like a bubbling, gurgling, and you can kind of see a little light naturally emanating mm. from uh, the side of <laughs> the cave. Gurgling? Yes, <laughs> uh, gurgling. It's up a hill, correct? Uh, this goblins. is all This is all flat in front of you, but um, on your right, the wall does break off from the tunnel entrance you came into, and there is about a 15-foot height gap right where Grellin's standing right now. And uh, mm. up there, you see uh, the top of a cauldron and a few others. Looks like scattered mm. odds and ends and dirt strewn about the ground like someone's been uh, living here almost and, and working. Yes, yes, in. yes. I think from Grellin's where you're at. Charging in. The thing. <laughs> they flip? Uh, I, I just climb up because I'm okay. so excited to see the. <laughs> Sorry, so make make, an, make, an, uh, make yeah. that acrobatics or athletics check for me. This is a, this is you just I just, just see how there. fast you get it done. Yep, that's fine. Athletics uh, or acrobatics, whichever is higher. Okay. Oh, so um, it, it's not a, at this instance. It won't be a fail. You climb up my there. My acrobatics you know cl- was actually higher. Sorry, should I have oh, done that? Yes, roll. Yeah, make it happen. Wreck on that roll, no problem. Yeah, you should roll which one's higher. Even better. So it takes you a very standard amount of time without difficulty. It's not super fast. It's not the slowest speed. You climb it without difficulty. Um, and when you do, mm. the first thing that catches your eye is an old woman. <laughs> She's sort of standing. It looks like she may have just stepped out from the shadows to the left. Oh, greetings, I... sweetie. How are you? Welcome to my cave. <laughs> I say... You're so cute. What? Who are you? I'm the cave shaman. You can call me Granny. Are uh, you a, a human or a goblin? Or? Oh my! You flatter my old soul. 
You didn't <laughs> answer my question. She kind of turns to her. And she kind of, so uh, as you're like looking at her, she's like she's wearing uh, very. <laughs> she's wearing she's like very very tattered, and you guys can move around if you want. She's wearing very tattered um, clothing, mm-hmm. extremely tattered. Um, but she does have like uh, a rope, a belt made of rope, and on it there's like a few sacks of things. Um, in her hand, she's holding a cane. She's walking with a cane. And the whole time you were looking at her, her face was exactly what her token looks like. And she kind of had this big smile on her face looking at you. And she kind of starts to walk away from you and towards the cauldron. I, I inquire, are you by chance some kind of witch? Oh, what's that, sweetie? Speak up. I can't hear you. Are you some kind of witch? A witch? Me? Cave Granny? <laughs> yeah. A witch? You, if you didn't Thank notice, I'm me? a fucking goblin, and I know a witch when I see one. <laughs> she- oh, <laughs> I knew it. And in an you incident, witch. in an incident, her face changes to this. Stab her, stab her. And she goes, I am a witch. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a <laughs> sneaky son of a bitch. All right, so this is where we're going to do a little Look combat out. action hey now. Where did, Gr- where did Ghrelin go? We, we know where Ghrelin's at. He climbed up that cliff. <laughs> I am a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming we hear some sort of commotion, but yeah, you guys, not you guys hear this. You're in a cave. So it was very echoey. Uh, the yeah, slant. We're like 30 feet away in a cave. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm oh, sure we yeah. can hear it. Uh, yeah, and you exactly. Said it's a Fifteen foot up. It's yeah. It's 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 a little bit of a ragged climb. Not too difficult. It's similar to the last the last climb you did. Yeah, just it's just there. like uh, yeah, a legend a down game. here. I think. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> going up there. Fucking you, witch. You guys definitely heard everything. It's like it's the cave is okay. is very hearable okay. things in here. Yeah, it's right. not like you're outside in the forest with all the ambience going on. Like you could hear the calls like, bubbling when you walked in and you saw I the like light emanating from it. A little pause and then. I am a witch! Yeah, I mean, like, from, like, I'm looking at your guys' vision when I'm clicking on your tokens. You guys can see Ghrelin and the hag and the cauldron. I can barely, yeah, I can yeah, barely Yeah, you guys are making it out. So you guys can, yeah. if you guys can see it as a token, I'm assuming you can, you're, you've got visual on it. IRL okay. as well. Yeah, I've got walls right. set up. Like, you can't see past the walls I have built into the maps. Correct. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I try to do that very purposefully as well. So, yeah, feel free to, if you see something... Feel free to like RP that you're seeing it, and if I don't know about it, then that's that's all for the better. It, it's up a hill though. Can we we can see it though? Anyways, like it's up the 15 foot. It's it's yeah. Mm-hmm. But we can still kind of see it. Okay. You can see. Yeah, it. it's sort of like it, it's it. angled. It's because they're on top of it and they're angled, and it's mm-hmm. it's you know it's, it's you're in a cave. So have you ever been in a cave with a shelf on it? You can kind of see mm-hmm. the walls and the distance on the shelf because it's sort of like a circle. It's not necessarily like flat, straight ledge you know it's sort of like the, the ground isn't exactly straight everything's sort of like slanted around you know um so it's not exactly as <laughs> it's not just like a flat wall is that how i imagined anyways but i should make i should make that clear it's fine. Can you can friend? see things Come with your me. eyes <laughs> okay we have to do things now we have to roll initiative so everyone roll initiative mm. yay mm. i love rolling Me initiative too. oh nice cave hag rolled 15 huge yeah well how do i roll initiative oh click on your open your character sheet and there's an initiative button that you click like to the right top right uh, oh, yeah, look at that. it's like you have a plus, you have a modifier. Yeah, there you go. We're doing it. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. There you go. This. Watch. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. We got some action here, boys. We got some action. We got some initiative. We got some, yeah, initiative. We got some initiative. So it looks like Ghrelin is up first. Well done. Ah. Uh, this woman literally morphed in front of you. Her smile, <laughs> her skin, like. <laughs> It looked like it turned into jerky in front of you as her mouth widened, her teeth spread, her gums decayed, her hair turned white, and her voice shrill. Skin shriveled. <laughs> you got right up in their business, dude. <laughs> She's like, he's close. I'm going to take it. All right, but uh, so yeah, Grelin, you can start us off with some moves, and then Braden, you're about, and that's not, why does it say that? Whoa. Who is Braden? Yeah, it says Braden. Uh, what but, the uh, hell? It's Gert now. Who is uh, that? Gert. I don't know who that is. I 
actually kind of answer to both. I think I'm going to have like split personalities or something. Okay. Mm. Um, so I get to choose what to do now about you, the witch. Yes, yeah, sorry. You, you are first. Yeah, you're going first. first. We're in combat. I, now. I would like to run over to the cauldron. Okay, so a fiery stick log from it and start waving it in front of the witch. Like, <laughs> um, you know, to like be like, get away from me, witch, you know? Yeah. Like, kind of like absolutely. that. Absolutely. Opportunity <laughs> that. Attack, no? Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. But luckily what? enough he can get so if you if you move out of a a um a range, so like if you Our were to DM. move like here. I'm muted again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Muted sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, hockey. Yeah. I know. Um, I should, I should remove the hockey. Really, I should really remove it. Should I'm not I do going that to or it. just stab the witch? It's, it's, it's right. Your, your That's your what you're thinking. Man, That's what I was person, saying while I was muted. But here, listen. What I was gonna say is, uh, opportunity to attack is if you move away from a character, they get an op. They get to mm -hmm. essentially attack you while you're running away from them. Um, that's if you move out oh, of their attack range. And so as long as you're adjacent to them by one square, you're within their range. So if you were to move like here, oh. for example, you're still within her range and you haven't left her range. So you wouldn't be attacked. But if you were to say like move here, now you're more than five feet away, then she gets a free attack against you. And it's just can a melee I reach attack. the flaming log from there? You can, yeah, absolutely, definitely. Okay, I'll do it from there. Yep, so you run over, you pick up a flaming, a flaming t torch, a piece of wood on fire from the yeah. cauldron. You and reach I in. Try, and I try and strike her old crusty head with, with it. With the torch. In an attempt to catch her on fire uh, as if kind of like Decky's box is about to catch on fire with all those candles <laughs> in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Look at hot bag there. Uh, okay. I'm, I had to look something up real quick. <laughs> I just take the legs somewhere on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna list some. Yes, I'm gonna list somewhere now, known guys. To catch on fire easily. Mm. <laughs> they are flammable. I mean, Look at the Middle Ages. Yeah, you I was gonna the say. If, <laughs> if, if okay, okay. This is what you do with a witch. You burn I didn't know there was logic there, but yeah, okay. It wasn't until now. <laughs> I just remembered um, okay. that you burn okay. witches. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna say here is that you sort of like jam this torch lit a flame into her clothing, her person whatsoever, with the intent to light her on fire. Um, yeah. If she were to be lit on fire, uh, essentially she's going to make a dexterity saving throw um, to try to not be on fire. Um, <laughs> of course. With, yeah, so let's see. Uh, tries to not be on fire. <laughs> what yeah. Dickie's role? So she rolled a 16. So I would say yeah. she successfully prevented herself from catching on fire. Um, <laughs> I also that did take one of your actions to do, and maybe we should have went over actions and stuff before we started combat. That might be on me, but <laughs> essentially, <laughs> you get you get one action, one bonus action, your movement, and and and, and, and quotation marks a reaction every turn, mm -hmm. every round of combat, and every round is six seconds. So that entire turn took six seconds in re in, in real time of the game. <laughs> So you walked up, uh, she transformed. You split, split second reaction was to run to the cauldron and try and light that bitch on fire. Um, and you tried, but she was like, she like kind of like waved her hand over the torch and extinguished the flame as you j jammed it into her, her cloak. Mm -hmm. And so you still technically have the rest of your movement, but you, like we said, we talked about opportunity attack and um, you have a bonus action. Uh, you might have some skills that, that take a bonus action. Um... I think How do I tell? for you, you have like those psychic blades that you're so psychic about. Um, I think some, I think yes. you have an ability, whereas if you use an attack on your main action, you can use a bonus action to attack with your offhand. Actually, you can sort things by bonus action under features. If you go to the features tab, there's an action tab, a bonus action tab, and a reaction tab. And you can highlight them and unhighlight them. And they will, uh, they will sort for you. This so your sounds very complicated. I it think is. I'll just pass the. You're rest doing of good. My turn That's now. fine. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. So wait. I found it. So after you make, I think I've done enough. After you attack with your psychic blade, you can make a melee or ranged attack weapon with a second psychic blade as a bonus action. So next time you attack with your psychic blades as your main action, or your second action, your bonus action, you can attack again. Okay. So, but I didn't use a psychic blade that time. So you did I can't not use it. 
No, you right. can't. But what I will say okay. in that case, a good point. Good point, actually. You bring up a good point. You can you have a, a, a clear hand. You can throw a punch in her at her, an offhand punch. It's just one d four, plus uh, I think your strength if you connect. But you're I willing would to like try. to slap the witch. Okay. Yeah, it's like the duel. Like he she he tried to stab her with the torch. She put the fire out, and then he's following up with the the left hand slap. So I'm yeah. making that. She's a witch, but what if she's a nice witch? You didn't even ask anything. She's a bad witch. <laughs> <laughs> so just make an unarmed she strike. She is now. Make an That's unarmed strike. She is now. I don't really care at this point. I'm going to <laughs> slap the witch. <laughs> yeah, you have that unarmed strike in your uh, abilities, so just do that. Do it, girl, and hit her, hit her. Uh, under uh, abilities. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, sorry, in inventory. It's I don't know why it's oh, an inventory. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, inventory. Got it. yep, yep, your yep, fists yep. are in there. Yeah, and then you make an attack roll. So you're trying to hit higher than her armor class, which you do. You you connect with skin. Damage. You you use the slap hits as a roll for damage. Click damage. Right yeah, yeah, attack. Right, exactly where you click attack. Sorry, I get really excited when this happens, and I I, I lose. I forget to explain things. Yeah, uh, right, exactly where you clicked attack. Underneath that is damage in the chat. Oh, yep. yep. Click on the, the chat yep. on the right. Yeah. Normal or critical hit. Normal's good. Crit's only if you roll a d20. Yep, that's about right. So how do you slap her? You do one damage however you want to do it. Uh, you should hiss really loud. Yeah. <laughs> I slap her, uh, but just merely knock the hood off her head. <laughs> like, like that. I just graze the top of her head. I maybe catch her with, with my pinky finger as I, as I slap, but it reveals her awful, decrepit hair. <laughs> Even worse, there's no Bumps hair. In it. She's bald, <laughs> no dude. Hair, okay. It's dry and cracked and flaky up there, and it looks like she is it's dangerous. nasty. Very big dangerous. Yeah, Some yeah, crystals yeah. are growing. You never know. Gout okay. crystals. She's gout. What a round. What a, what a, okay. what a turn. <laughs> You're done. That's your turn. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yes, you're done. Dude, that was the first round of combat all all night. So, dude, that, mm -hmm. you, did, you did some stuff. It was surprising. I'll say what? that much. Uh, it attacked Relic. Mm -hmm. That's true. I almost stabbed him to death over that. That's, I guess you're right. I forgot. My bad. Uh, I think uh, Gert is up next. Gert. Oh, wait, sorry. Begin combat. Okay, you went. You're done. Oh, interesting. I'm tracking. I'm I would tracking. like to cast a spell. <gasps> You're not even up here. So? What's I, that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't you cast. Spell you don't now. want to do some sort of flip up the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do a flip. I want to cast a spell. Okay. <laughs> I can do that, right? I can, I can cast yeah, a spell. Course. I'm so sorry. What spell are you thinking about? Uh, can I cast a second level spell? Is that all right? In, one, in, in the list of spells that you have? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, cool. I, I want to I wanna cast invisibility. Yeah. I want to cast who? it on, on Big Bug. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I want to go, Big Bug, be careful, the witch! And I want to cast invisibility on Big Bug to protect him. Yeah, uh, a creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it is on the target's person. Yeah. The spell ends for a target that casts or attacks or casts a spell. Yep. So, yeah. Um, how do you? How does your spell casting look? What's well, I your? Just touch him. So you just say that. I'm. I'm more into. I'm not into the the like the. You're the ironically. You're casting. not into the thematic like a... spell casting, even though you're a bard. That's great. I love yeah, that. I'm it's more very... of like the like like if uh if if it, like a gritty R-rated superhero movie where it's like almost realistic. I just touch him. Mm. And well, if we don't talk about spell... realistic. You actually have like a bunch of like components that you are that you have to like actually have, and uh, there's usually like a somatic and a verbal and like a hand gesture that you do. Nah. <laughs> no problem. We'll just I've evolved. That's fine. That. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, that's fine. So you touch them. It's like in Harry Potter when the kids have to do all that shit to like cast a spell, but then yeah. when they get better at wizardry, they just think about it. 
it's yeah. sort of like that yeah it's sort of like that bards are tricky yeah. you can we can pretty much flavor however you want so you touch you touch big bug and touch big he bug. is no longer big bug he is invisible bug and he you can no longer see him and i say stay safe big bug and you hear big bug but you don't nice. see him hang on make it so you can't see him there you go big bug <laughs> from, from as it fades away <laughs> yeah. perfect timing that was beautiful okay that was your action and uh, that also took one of your um your spell slots so a spell slot yeah you only have a certain amount of those i don't know where they're tracked exactly here i'll find out but you cast it once don't worry about it right now okay you have a limited amount of times you can cast spells yeah, I'm trying to figure okay. out where it's unless shows. you do a long rest and then it indeed. resets, right? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, indeed. Sure. Okay. What's? That's all I I wanted. To, I mean, oh, that's all. Oh I yeah, wanted it's to oh do. it says it in your in your spell book where it says second level on that same row. There's two out of two, and four out of four. That's how many slots of oh, that yeah. spell you have. So two you used two. one. So you used one. So I'm gonna mark that for you. So now it's one out of two. So oh, you can nice. cast one okay. more second level okay. spell or a lower Perfect. level spell with the second level slot. That's the info okay. blast Ooh. for you. Grelin, Grelin notices Perfect. how unhelpful that was. <laughs> that was incredibly <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for Wait your Grelin turn, in Grelin. in particular. Who oh, is, wait your turn. Is Grelin. Having tried to slap the witch Grelin runs 40 you did one damage. feet ahead of us and starts beating the shit out of an old woman. And I want to protect my friend. Oh, boo Grelin. Okay, you have a bonus <laughs> action. <laughs> okay. I'll remember that. <laughs> It'll be dead. There'll it's be a, nothing you, to remember. That, the hag is not waiting for your conversation I'll like a cartoon hero <laughs> villain. Um, it is uh, your have the rest of your movement now, Gert or Brayden, and you have a bonus action. Although the only bonus action you have is the, the heal. I don't know that you want to do that. No one's hurt. I just want to. Can I? Can I just move like that? Yeah. That's it. Yep. That's what I want to do. You bump into <laughs> Big Bug as you do. He goes, Big Bug. That's all I wanted. Just keep yep, him safe. You're there. You're there now. That's you. Good job. Okay. It's Big Bug's turn. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to can't not really... see what he does. Yeah. Maybe we hear some little sounds, see some little footsteps. You definitely hear some scurrying. You definitely see okay. like, pur, pur, like the dust pur, pur, pick up on the cliff side. Uh, and you kind of okay. see like almost, you kind of see his form like flop over the top of the, the small little cliff here. And you can tell, the you hear him, he's up, up there. Yeah, exactly. You can start to see like the st steam from the cauldron that's bubbling. You can kind of see like as it flows around him, you kind of see like a little distortion of the, only because you're looking for okay. it. In that case, but he's up there. He climbed up there, mm. <clears throat> and you smelled something. You smell something, Grelin, near you. Mm. Hey, big bug. Big bug. Whose turn? Whose turn? What? It's the cave hag's turn. The well witch. said. Thank you. Oh. oh yeah, baby. It's the witch's turn. <laughs> okay, so uh, the witch is gonna look right at you, Grelin. She's gonna. She. You just knocked off her helm, her hat, her hood. And she is looking at you with the biggest grin ever. Huge, in fact. She's going to use death glare. Oh, my oh. God. So we got one creature. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Sorry. All right. First, make a wisdom saving throw. For me, Ghrelin. That's How what you wise do. could Grelin be? Make me a wisdom saving throw. Um, As you see the, the cave hag's true form, make me a wisdom save. Oh, on your character sheet, uh, you want to look for uh, under attributes wisdom, and then it's one of your main stats, one of your six on the left, and then just do a uh, normal. Pretty much normal, unless I'll tell you otherwise. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, it's all like the bar. Yeah. You guys, it's all good. Saving you guys throw? are getting it. Saving throw. Yep. saving throw. Indeed, saving throw. Thank normal. you, thank you. Yes. OMG. Um, great job. You did good. You did really good. So uh, her death glare does not have an effect on you this round. So you oh, kind man. of, you kind of, she's looking at you. She's trying to get you to meet her gaze, but your eyes just keep jumping to her hairline. You know what I mean? Like right where that hairline is. And you just can't stop looking there and you avoid I'm the effect. I'm just confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was her action. Uh, she's sort of a little like, what? The, huh? She's kind of a little surprised about that. 
we'll take him back, but then we're going to keep him moving. She doesn't want to move around or anything. She kind of looks at her cauldron, trying to like, cast, a, cast a glance over your shoulder at the cauldron behind you, and then it's Chodius' turn. Chodius! <sighs> Time <A witch>. again. <laughs> I hate witches! <laughs> And I will use my bonus action to derobe myself. Okay. <laughs> and then I will ah! climb the cliff. Beautiful. And charge for to, to his aid as far as I can, which I mean it's like usually twenty five, but then it's also the cliff is hindering that. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna take five off essentially. So twenty. So uh what's yeah, what's right there? Was that not was that not twenty? That was twenty five? And you have 25 yeah. total feet because you're a dwarf, right? I think so. I mean, let me uh, check. Yeah, I'll check. That's what I remembered at least. Yeah, yeah it says 25 feet. Yeah. 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 So, not a question. Sorry. And, no, I, and, I was just saying you can see it on your chart, but it is 25. Oh, yeah. 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 So, essentially, in the turns that were happening, you climbed the cliff and ran towards her on your turn yeah. essentially and you're here now this is how far you've gotten in six seconds since combat he started also took kind of makes sense you yeah to, you exactly to Don't you forget did the take robe. off your robe which definitely took at least two seconds and then you spent that another nice. four seconds running yeah yeah that's your turn screaming wild. do you want to do anything you could throw your axe at her Probably, if that's something you're interested in, but you know, you might miss and it could be worse off. Just being fully transparent. Oh, I'm gonna run at her and be like, I hate witches! Yeah, okay, so that, unfortunately, then that is your turn <laughs> and it's racks on this. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the waste of time taking your robe off for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> he could have planned an attack, but no, you spent it taking uh, your fucking robot. Well, it's it's so funny that it, it's so funny. I love that. I love when it plays out like that. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maximus, you're up, bud. This is you, man. Make it happen. Make the dreams come true. This witch, All listen, right. she has a single scrape on her right now. <laughs> Good. I'm also, I'm going to, I think 25 would be fine because I'm going to lose five for that. Yeah, so like, exactly. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go right here. You're I think there. that's where my guy will go. Uh, Hold on. Uh, I got like a weird, it's fine. Um, I'm going to move here and uh, I'm going to yell, I also hate witches. <laughs> um, and then uh, I think I have my cantrip Eldritch Blast. I'm going to just Ooh. shoot. Straight at her. Loves yeah. that Eldritch Blast. It's, Eldritch it's Blast. It is, the, it is the bread classic. and butter. It's the bread and butter for yeah. Warlock. You gotta love to see it. So I you think, see Eldritch Blast? I think I'll just, you know? Yeah, I think I'll just uh, shoot one of those off as my Another main Another Raximus please, classic. Please do. There you go. Oh, you definitely, it connects. It connects. All right. You, you hit her, so roll for damage. I'm gonna roll for damage. Well done. Hit eight solid damage. Eight. Wanna describe how that happens? Yeah, uh, it's like a purple beam that comes straight out of my middle finger as I kind of flip her off and say, I also hate witches. And then uh, the, the purple kind of uh, um, ball comes from my hand. Would you mind demonstrating the move on the floor behind you? <laughs> no, that oh, was for a different thing. That was before I had to spin. I didn't spin this one. Just I'd still like to see the move demonstrated. No, the, I didn't do the move this time. I told you. There was a no, sort of a gesture. Like a there middle was a gesture. You did a gesture. <laughs> there you go. Just okay. demonstrate. That was good. That was good. That was good. That helped the immersion. Oh my God. Friendly. I mean, <laughs> anyway. that's the witch's perspective. That's witch POV right there, guys. That was what the witch was seeing. That was that was okay, raw. Yeah. That was real. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, it shoots out a big purple blast and kind of like it's a ball of almost like plasma or goo, gas and goo that gas goes at and her goo. and hits her. Nice. Well, yeah. It splatters her, it gets it, and it, like kind of coats her, and then like evaporates, and then you can see mm -hmm. kind of like uh, the steam kind of like leaves like wounds al along her her leathery tannish flesh. Mm. Does she do any cackling? It's less of uh, reeling in pain. <laughs> She's kind of like. Aah! She definitely cackled on her turn. She was like. 
<laughs> but then when Grelin was like, wouldn't stop looking at her hairline, it was more like. <laughs> <laughs> excellent excellent I, yes. think, okay. I don't think i have any bonus i don't know if, how to tell if i have any bonus no problems yeah, so you go if you go in your spell book <laughs> you have tabs that uh sort things <laughs> wait was Deggy not even here did you just get back uh he just like he just appeared what the hell? from a dwarf hole <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> A dwarf I'm sorry hole, if I missed say. something <laughs> important. I, as always, am carrying the damage and hit yeah. the witch for eight. Okay, well, I'm carrying the fun. <laughs> so. uh, do I have a bonus? <laughs> so I don't. I can't tell if my bonus because it, it looks like I don't have a bonus app action. So wait, where do you even see your? I can't even see your spells. <laughs> How do you I even see find my spell book? You see, I have spells uh, in your spell book. Yeah, I have a ton of spells in my spell book. <laughs> you look All like right. an Amish guy. <laughs> That's good. I don't see them. That's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> just I don't have any when I click bonus action, so I'm assuming I don't have any. Yes, uh, yes, you don't. No, most. I mean, it's like Misty Step. I think is a bonus action. I think if you have that one, but um, no. no so I don't my bonus, bonus action is going to be uh, to kind of like sit down, cross legged too. Okay. Like, almost like I'm um going to meditate, but I'm not. I'm just going to sit there like I'm going to meditate. Oh, you've got healing light as one of your bonus actions. It's I don't your, worry it's about that. Okay. I don't need that. You have a nice sit yeah. down. Okay. I have a nice sit down. That's my bonus action. So you've sat down on the ground. You've shot, you shot the hag with your load. So you're satisfied after shooting my load, I sit down. Yeah. Well done. Very appropriate. In the middle of combat, he just takes a seat. Uh, Echo is going to I'm run over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you're kind of looking up up the cliff, can kind of see everything going on, has visual range on everyone. Feeling pretty confident about that. Mm -hmm. Going to cast magic missile. Mm. Ooh. He's not Aiming useless. Right a classic. at the cave hag. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure within range. Casting it right, almost right behind you, where you're standing, Raxmus. Good thing I sat down, huh? Went right over yeah. the head. Very, very good. All right, this, this spell always weirds me out. Is it great? We have it shooting in hands. It does dark strikes simultaneously. It just happens. They just take damage. Isn't that awesome? That sounds <laughs> awesome to me. Did the witch get hit? <laughs> Oh my god, wait a second. Yes, she did. Um, that's what I'm confused about. Magic Missiles is a spell that doesn't have mm -hmm. a saving throw attached to it or right. a, a roll. It actually just hits the target automatically as long as you can see them within range. I think I put this here specifically for this character exactly like this. Right. Yes. 100% of the time. Phenomenal. Huge. Good thing we took these characters with us, huh? These little wait. friends we had. And she rolled a five on damage, which is the highest you can get. <laughs> For the first mm. dart. Oh my god. Yep. So Echo out of the out of the get-go here is looking to do 20 damage turn one. Mm -hmm. And I need you to just check my own math real quick for one second. This is right. I'm surprised. Why is this a spell? This is so broken. Anyways, well, good thing we took him along. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> 14 damage to the hag. Huge damage. It's been done. It's been, it's been, it's been dealt. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so Echo kind of moves up behind you and shoots these three beams of uh, concentrated blue light. Definitely a little bit more refined and faster than uh, what you just saw from the Eldritch Blast. They all shoot mm -hmm. around Raxmus. One goes through his legs, other one under his right arm, under his left arm, and they all strike the witch. Pew, pew, pew. Almost in an instant, Whoa. like a flash of light. Raxmus is sitting. Okay. It went, it went right. under the ground. You're right. Yeah. As he sat down, it shot through his legs. It was that fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and, oh the, and the witch takes each one, like, in force. Bang, 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 right to the torso. No visual wounds are left, but she does sort of like uh. ah, ah, <laughs> real in pain. Definitely in pain. That'll be at the end of that turn. 
<laughs> I now know, I remember why I put Magic Missile on this character. Okay, Grelin, your turn. You're up. Back at the top. You're up, Grelin. Grelin. So you've just witnessed all this happen after you slapped the witch, pretty much. I noticed that the slap was quite ineffective last time I attempted to fight the witch. I'd like to ask her if she's a bad witch. <laughs> because now I'm kind of second guessing okay. myself now that she's Same. half dead. Because mm. you're all just beating the shit out of this woman. Yeah, that, she's, done nothing, just, she's done literally are we just nothing. Brutalizing an old woman in a cave <laughs> who had like makeup on at first. <laughs> Or you see, because uh, she lives in a cave. Maybe. You see her, her for a moment. Her face returns to that of the old women, of the old woman that you saw in the beginning. Still, that same sort of deadpan expression, the smile, really uh -huh. emotionless, yet still expressing emotion. And through what sounds like gritted teeth, she looks teeth, friendly again. She looks friendly again. She says, "I'll be whatever you want, dearie." Hmm. Are you going to take an action? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stab the witch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll. I thought we had unlocked like a secret part of her. <laughs> I'm going to stab her. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> uh, attack roll. Um... Uh, inventory with the dagger roll. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. If you are attacking with your dagger, yep, you click the left. Yeah, so I'd like to stab her, her with my dagger. Do it, and it should, yep, have you attack it. Attack. That definitely Whoa. hit. Definitely <laughs> hit. What'd you roll? Oh, you rolled a 19, almost a critical. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely connect. Damage. As, yeah, roll damage. damage. Whoops, sorry. And as the knife sinks in, uh, the, the, to the flesh, the, the facade fades once more back into that of the horrifying hag face. Not looking very happy at, the, at this moment, though. I knew and, uh, it. Did you roll she damage? She's a witch. Oh, yeah, roll damage. Sorry. <laughs> of course she's, she's a already, witch. <laughs> even she already exposed herself as one. <laughs> the question wasn't, uh, is she a witch? It's, is she a good witch or a bad witch? That, that was the question. I, I don't care at this point. Okay. <laughs> you got normal? Yeah, yeah, click damage. Okay, you got six damage. Um, you do have this act ability um, that is a once per short rest. You can deal three extra damage to a creature with a size larger than yours. I think you're considered small. Um, yes. And she is considered medium. So she is one large. So you can add three damage onto that six if you'd like. And that's your, if you go under uh, features, that's your fury of the small. And you see how it's like one out of one. You can use that once every... Uh, uh -huh. short rest. So it just gives you free damage. I will use my furious small fury to stab S the witch fury with a little... The small. Yeah. You kind of use that uh, energy inside you. You know, you've always been the underdog. I put the, the one dagger in and I... And I... Oh, twist. a little bit. Oh, a little twist. Oh. Whoa. Oh, the kidney shot and the twist. <laughs> ah. As you twist is when the uh, the when her, her illusion fades. Like, as you twist, it twitches from a nice granny to old hag again. Uh, mm. yeah, and she's not, and she, uh, you know, blood starts to seep th from the wound, sort of a blackish sludge looking thing. And you can see the look on her face looks exhausted, exasperated. She's not looking very good. Now, you do have an offhand strike, I think. But I'm just trying to yeah, figure out bonus. how it cues up on your character sheet. Um, can I help with this? I don't know. I think it's just... I think if, if you click on your dagger, does it give you an option to like do like an offhand? No. Other damage. No, nothing there. And then we can do that roll. Situational bonus. It's 1d5 plus at bonus. Um, I knew one of these things would be an issue. Hold on, I please. I don't need one to more. attack again. I think I've made my point. 
it's sort of the same thing as like the offhand. Like it's the damage from the dagger, but it's not the bonus. So your dagger Can do a different, uh, less violent action. You want to go for like a while the dagger is in yeah. her twisted. I would like to reach back to the spoon in the cauldron. Is there a spoon in the cauldron? There is. My other hand, yeah. I can reach it. There is a, there is a spoon. I'd like to grab the spoon. <laughs> it's conveniently hanging on the, the side. soup onto the bald head of this wow. tag. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. And fill her head up this with a, hot soup. This yeah. This is a scary thing. Yeah, let's hear it. Do it. So uh, uh, why don't I have you... What are you doing? Oh, pff, nice. Okay, let me think. That's good. I like that. I like that. So you grab it. No problem. You have one dagger in the, the witch. The other hand, you grab the top of the ladle. And as you pull, start to pull the ladle out, you can tell this is like a thick, like a goop sort of soup. And it is goop like, it is, it is like, yeah, goop soup. And you are like to pull it out. It's almost like, like a hand sanitizer. You know what I mean? Like jelly, mm. like gelatinous almost. And so you try and pull it out and you're sort of pulling it and it's almost like it's like melted cheese. It's like snapping from the ladle as it like drips out over it. And it almost like it almost like gives after some tug. You know what I mean? And what I'm gonna have you do here is make a let's have you make a, a dexterity roll. See how well you are able to handle the ladle. I'll just do a straight dexterity check for me. Ability check? Yes, please. Solid. Um, so you take the goop, and where are you aiming? Um, I'm aiming at the witch, but I'd like it to hit Chodius instead. <laughs> do, so are you aiming at Chodius, or you're aiming at the witch? You don't get the... the, the well, I'm aiming at Chodius, because I know a little hot soup will get his... Get his his warrior uh, rage all bumped yeah. up, and he'll go. I hate witches, and and get all hot. You know what I mean? So he uh, fights that witch. You. Get it? He wasn't. Do, he didn't do enough last turn. I'm trying to stoke that dwarven so fire. You know what in, I mean? In the in the the midst of the hurl, you're changing targets to Chodius. Yes. A I mean, yeah. Minute decision. What's your What's your armor class, uh, Chodius? My armor class is 14. Okay, so that meets it. And I'm pretty sure meets it beats it in D&D &D <laughs> yes. 5e rules. So you do get covered in goop. Um, so essentially, mm. it's sort of surprising, but at the last moment, you catch uh, Ghrelin's eyes, switch targets right from the witch, kind of like catches your glimpse, but then in that same instant, you see the eyes move, you're hit with the goop that fast mm. and then it's like a stunning shocking thing it's kind of on your chest a little bit on your face it kind of splattered along you and it's like it didn't it didn't just like drip off like mm. water did it like landed on you and it's like gooped on you now and it's not hot or burning but it's stuck on you i will continue this on my my part indeed but indeed you will uh okay uh, that's that Grelin, right? that was it for Grelin. Excellent move. Thank you. No <laughs> problem. Sorry, I'm just making some <laughs> slight adjustments to that. I uh, dude, I love it when you guys surprise me. Honestly, it makes me so happy if I have to change things on the fly. Love Sorry. it. Sorry. No, dude, I'm 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 serious. I'm just I I think about this so much. Like I'm like I, they're gonna do something that I'm not thinking about, and I'm not. They're gonna miss that one thing that I've been, I'm thinking about so many things, but they're gonna get that one little you know that little thing. Okay. But it's cool, because so, it makes it more fun. Go ahead. God, you're going to love this turn, then. You're going to love this Who's turn, next? Yeah, Zucho who's next? What's up, Zucho? Go ahead. <laughs> I cash Vicious Mockery. On who? Mm. On Aqua. But <laughs> I make it look God. like I'm doing it on the witch, okay? Okay. So... <laughs> This is mockery. Are you on? <laughs> Look, <laughs> honestly, mockery. right now, kind of the witch. She, she I, hasn't hurt anyone. I'm okay she with this. To, she looked at me. Yeah, she looked at you, so we're <laughs> killing her. She looked yeah, at me. Look, look, we walked into her <laughs> house and started beating the shit out of her. I hate witches! <laughs> <laughs> so, a vicious mockery is you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantment at a creature you can see. If the target can hear you, uh, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 psychic damage. So, 
if you're you have to committed to this, person. yeah, it's fine. If you're committed to this, uh, T- Grelin will make a uh, a wisdom saving throw. Right. Let's go. You, and then, <laughs> and then like, uh, you 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 agree that you are targeting him. Like he knows it's you, right? Well, so essentially, he's going to cast the spell, and then mm-hmm. he's going to roll to see if it was disguised or if he was able to. Okay. Ha- okay. Just yeah. sli- you're going to roll a sleight of hand for me. You're going to do a sleight of hand check after that. I'm just trying to slow much. things down, give mm-hmm. this witch some time to maybe actually show if she's going to damage anyone at all. Girl, you failed the saving throw, so you take 1d4 psychic damage. And you have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. On any perfect. You make. Wonderful. What do you so, mean perfect? Wonderful. <laughs> it's obviously an evil witch. <laughs> you take three damage. <laughs> three damage. <laughs> it's Cave Grandma is in there. Okay, Cave Granny is, and then, is, is in there. And then, and then if you want, and then, um, sorry, and then Gert or Brayden, then you're going to roll a sleight of hand check for me. Yes, of course. Or a deception check. Actually, go ahead and do just deception. Want? Deception is is more suited. For I this. like deception. I'm mm. gonna do that one. I'm being very deceiving right now. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh very good. yes, you are. Grell, and you get a chance to to combat this with an insight check. Very or which? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make an insight check for me. Taking damage from this. So. Insight, insight, insight. Oh. They're both high. They're both very high. So in ter- it's not necessarily One's a, higher. I know it's not, and it's not necessarily a, a battle of who's is higher, but it's a matter of stab who succeeds. <laughs> stab him right now. You can't. Like you can't stab both him, both and you can't. Successful. Until the DM says, but yeah, until the DM one says, is you more know. successful technically. So how? What? What are you doing to disguise this? Attack because the way this spell works is you're targeting an enemy, you're whispering mm. a curse that v- yep. psychically hurts them. So he's gonna hear mm-hmm. your words in his head yep. and then he's gonna take damage. So he's gonna w- assume that he's just hearing <laughs> me screaming in okay. the background. Emotional damage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like that a lot actually. That sounds really good. So you hear Gert yelling and screaming like he is suffering from emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a meltdown and it bothers you, Grelin, so much that you just took three damage. Mm. Damn. Wow. You can't he believe how it much like it bothered you that he him. that he caused you this pain. You know, not technically directly, I guess, but he still caused you this pain. You know that he caused this pain, but not directly, technically, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I was I was trying to Dampen the witch's powers. <laughs> Am I like, do I know that he did this or do I not know? Or did you, I just like. You know that you took psychic damage because of his suffering. You don't know that he cast a disadmock ring on you, but oh, you know that suffering. he is the reason that you took three damage. Right. Uh, my suffering. Like you ever like, been you so know that, you annoyed? You know that it caused you damage, but you didn't know that he's actually like maliciously attacking you. Exactly. You just, it's sort you of know like that someone's screaming out in pain, and that's hurt. Ah, yeah. And he screamed out ah, so much in pain. About other yeah. people. <laughs> no, he does. You have to at this case. Yes. Okay. Fine. God damn it. No, it's not even like you care about him. It's not even like that. It's like a screaming kid at the mall, and you can't get away from it. And it's that bad, that kid. <laughs> oh, you don't okay. care about him, but so you can now, you can hear him though. Right, you can yeah, hear his crying. This time, this time, <laughs> yes. If you like a really bad headache. Well, if you had, if you uh, on the uh, in the meta game sense, if you had passed the wisdom saving throw, it wouldn't have hurt you. Right. Why is that guy screaming? <laughs> oh, on the other hand, though, you do have your inspiration die if you want to re-roll that, and we can retcon this whole thing. So you don't take that three damage. But it's up to you. If you feel like that inspiration re-roll is, is worth the... Uh, not, not, not you, I'll Z-Chum, because you did... three damage okay, no from problem. my teammate, Z-Chum, who I will be stabbing later. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> this lady has done nothing to us. You can insult me or whatever, but I... <laughs> I have two daggers. This... <laughs> This woman was just making soup, and we're killing her. 
Uh, okay, turn. we're moving on. It's Big Bug's turn. Big Bug. And so what you guys are doing is Ghrelin, like, just took the damage. Proteus mm -hmm. is literally running up to strike the hag down where she stands. And out of nowhere, standing in front of you, suddenly appears Big Bug. What? And he's Bug. there. And he is <laughs> mid-strike with a huge wooden club Big spiked Bug. with little barbs. It's a club? Oh, it's a club. And he rolls a 14. And it meets it. So it beats it. And he beats it. He comes in with a huge five damage. Does he right say on. Big bug? He says, Bug, big! And he slams it on top of her head. And she takes down to one knee. I curse you all. You will all die. And she's looking really rough. That's, that's Big Bug's turn. And now it's the Cave Hag's turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> she's gonna look at uh big bug who big bug. didn't really do her any favors just then now he's gonna have to make uh, a wisdom saving throw as she gazes into his eyes his big bug eyes he fails uh he is now <laughs> considered so after he does that, he like looks down at her with his big bug eyes and she's looking up at him, but with a sinister gaze and suddenly his expression changes from uh, excited and uh, ready to fight to afraid and needing to fear, needing to flee, fight or flight. Mm. So big bug scared. He is currently so scared. This woman just wants us to leave, huh? Um, well, actually, now that he's uh, fleeing, he is going to. Oh, wait, hang on, sorry. Okay, no, he's frightened. Okay, good, yeah. He's frightened this turn. That was her action. Uh, on his next turn, all he can do is move away from her instead of attack. Okay, okay that, is, uh, that was Big Bug's turn. Uh, that was the Hag's turn. And now we are Chodius. It's you, baby. It's I'm time. Running. You're running. Muscles glistening in the little cave <laughs> light that there is. <laughs> Listening with soup Rinting all over them. And then <laughs> suddenly, and two I things happened. Yep. With this melted cheese like substance thrown by a goblin. <laughs> I cry out as it splatters me across my face and my chest. Burning. It enrages me. The anger fills me. And I am pissed. I draw my axe. And I move one place closer. And I strike the hag while enraged. Do it. Let me see your rage. You got rage? So you're raging right now. I am raging right now. Mark off one of your rages. You got three and your features and your feature books. You have three okay. out of three. Mark uh, it down to two. Where's, where's features? It's under, oh, okay. uh, yeah, you got, okay. uh, you got it. You got it. Um, yep. Uh -huh. this is, you, you, got, you got some resource management as well. You got it. Done. 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 And then Done. you're using your attack. battle axe. Make it happen. Hit attack. With, with advantage. Well, I think while you're raging, you get advantage. Is that true? Yep. Wait, I haven't, I haven't yes, checked on it. That's the point of raging. Time. You yep. fucking gain advantage on strength tests and saving throws, not attacks. Melee damage with strength weapons, resistant to blood drain, piercing, slashing damage. You can't cast or concentrate spells. Your range and early weight. You gain advantage on strength tests and saving throws, not attacks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Well, that's that's ugly. Um, but you get I mean, you get more you, rage. you do more damage, I think. Oh, good. And then you add. So you see that little extra uh, button in your description there. In rage, if you click on rage in your in your book, you see all the all the words pop up. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You see that weird? Does, is there like a weird button there that says at scale dot barbarian dot rage? At scale dot barbarian dot rage. After it says yeah, not yeah. attacks, you can click that. Yeah, that's your rage. That's your extra rage damage that you add. Ah. Uh, so you just added more rage damage. You just did two. She did nine damage total, which is enough to kill the hag. Ah, uh, great going, guys! You killed a woman, an old woman. So how do you? Was that do not it? just a hitter? Yeah, that was to hit her. He, he that was your attack roll? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm so cool. sorry. Well, spoilers, I guess. Uh, She's looking pretty rough. Um, oh. Great work. You didn't kill her yet. <laughs> you actually missed. You actually rolled a one. You actually critically failed your attack, technically. <laughs> Sorry. That's what that red thing means in the yeah, chat. That's means. So yeah, decky. you got a one. <laughs> After all that that is so Do you remember that inspiration die you had that you used already? The good times. Yeah, he used that already. Yeah. I know. Yeah, what did he use that on again? I forget. So long yeah. ago. That's how you got those tomatoes. Big bug who he likes the most. <laughs> All right. Didn't he? Didn't he use it on the flip or something? No, no, no. He used it. He used, used it, like, it on a log. Yeah, picking gained, up a log over his head. It yeah. did. Right. It did gain the favor of bug of big bug though. <laughs> it is. That is what sold them. To be <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, you uh, naked, okay. covered in soup in front of a witch. <laughs> so you're about to strike, but what happens is. Suddenly, in a blink, Big Bug is standing there, and you have to literally miss on purpose not to hit Big Bug. Because you you gained his favor, you're good friends. Yeah, so. you can't hurt Big yeah. Bug. Yeah. So that was your attack, and your bonus action was to rage. You're still raging right now, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and you almost you almost you almost did it, man. Rax, miss you're up though. Um, I can ping you. Ping. Yeah, can I do a, a little dance like back and forth a couple times for my movement? Um, yeah. Just cause I'm just cause I'm doing a little jig. Then sure. go back in the same exact spot, uh, and uh, use my Eldritch Blast. You know the good old middle <laughs> finger. Eldritch uh, Blast. <laughs> yeah, make it happen. Yeah, exactly. Back, back and forth, and then sort of like pew, and then uh, here's my attack roll. Please don't miss. Um, nice. That's okay. Good. Whew. Uh, and then uh, damage, normal, uh, mm, seven. Big. That was big. Okay. Mm. How do you do it? Mm -hmm. How does it do uh, it? That's enough damage to end, end, its, end the life of the... Okay. Uh, Is it really enough damage to enter? I wasn't it was, sure. It yeah, was a little dance. I had to double and check. The thing, and then the ball comes out again, um, but it does like... Um, you know the old cartoon uh, of throwing a baseball. It like spins around in the air, like, like kind of does a corkscrew a little bit. It's going to do the corkscrew uh, around... Uh, our our buddies there, and then hit her on top of the head, and then sort of like turn into sludge on her face. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Mm. That's exactly like what happens. My graphic mm -hmm. little so, and, and, as the but... sludge sort of like encompasses her face. You can see she yeah. starts to like struggle, and then slowly, you know, scraping at this slime of goo as it sort of starts to burn or whatever it is, acid in that case. Mm -hmm. She just kind of slowly crumples into nothing. Oh. I don't know why the wave started playing. Sorry. Did someone do that? Someone that touching was... my music? <laughs> Who did that? Oh, good work, <laughs> Who was guys. that? Good job. Great work. Good job. Yeah. You did I think. It. Can I uh, address something now that the fight is over? Yeah, so uh, the, the, the cave hag sort of crumples into a ball uh, on the ground. Uh, her shrieking muffled one final time. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to, as this person's dying, <laughs> I'm going to say, Chodius, can I have a tomato? And then she dies. Uh, oh! Of course, <laughs> that was Slayer it. of the Hag. <laughs> the goop Thank is you. still is still the encompassing tomato. your flesh. By the way, so as you're handing him this tomato, he's like covered in this like pulsing green the goop. goop. Is there any goop on the tomato itself? What hand are you reaching out with? The goop hand. One hand is covered. The, your non-primary hand has some goop on it. So yes, it would be. Well, I, I will. In all reality, I was running at a little bit of a leftern side True. to True. the cauldron. So if mm, I did okay. take the hit, it would be with the left hand. There mm. it is. It all works uh, out in the end. So okay. yes, there's a little bit of goop on the tomato. And then I'm going to look at it. I'm going to see the goop. Can I do that? Can I see the goop and then go? Yep, Never mind. Green. I'm it's good. bright green. Eat yep. the goop. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Eat the goop. And then Eat I'll sit the down goop. right sit there. Sit back down. Yeah, sit right back down. All right. Yep, so, combat is over for now, for this moment in time. 
Ghrelin remembers how the kobold was like, oh, great, we killed a woman. You know, we entered her cave. She no, might have been nice. We did. I want to walk up to him and say, are you the dumbest guy in the world? <laughs> Do you not see all the human remains strewn around this this cauldron and this desk and everything? And then I recall the emotional damage inflicted on me, and I would like to swiftly probably just kick people coming Zeechum in. In the in the nuts, and I want to my goblin just foot. Make an unarmed Step strike. Back. What? Make that unarmed strike for me, with your foot. Unarmed foot strike. Isn't my vicious? Isn't my vicious mockery still give him like a debuff? Absolutely. It does. So go ahead and make yeah. that unarmed strike with disadvantage. In fact. Yeah. Go ahead, Aqua. So attack make is a little disadvantage. disadvantage on arm strike. So what? Oh, whoa! That was with disadvantage. Wow. Yeah, fuck you. That fuck means you scary. rolled higher with another dice. Damn. What does that mean? Your armor class? It does my armor class? Yes. Yeah, you gotta click on it. It does. Oh. Um, okay. How do I find it? Uh, if you double click your token, it'll pop up. It's under. Oh, it's next to movement. Yep. Meets it. Beats it. Meets it. Oh. Beats it. My armor class meets it. So it yeah. beats it. Yeah. The hide armor you're wearing, uh, you know, doesn't have a lot in the crotch He's region. Wearing... He's, you guys are all... <laughs> he's not wearing a cup. That's what I'm that's saying. Right, <laughs> so you can do damage if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like to. It'll be like <laughs> one or two damage, I think. Is it a critical hit since it's in the nuts? It is <laughs> not, unfortunately. That would be awesome, though, if it was. No? No, right. sorry. One damage. That's it. Worth it. A so swift, like a, so like a regular testicle kick. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you take one damage, you get hit in the nuts. I think that's pretty accurate. But you think you want to take more damage? You think we should increase the damage because it's a nut shot? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm no, just no. waiting okay. for. I'm waiting for. All right. The I'm open to discussion. I just, uh, I just. I'm just following the rules here. Seventeen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, reduce one hit point, and then I guess okay. you know you kind of crumple over a little bit in pain, or maybe you I'm, don't. No, I'm gonna. Theatric that I fall on the ground screaming. Okay, you're gonna lean into it. I'm okay, in, I'm in extraordinary pain. <laughs> Soccer play. I am screeching. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Why? Ball hurt. Ball hurt. You uh, killed that woman, and now you're hurting me. Why? Echo has no idea what's going on. She uh, kind of saw that happen. I don't know why you say oh, it. He God, saw that happen. Help. He moves over. Oh, fuck. And he's like, he's like looking at you worriedly. And he's like, he's like, uh, he's like holding his hands up, like shrugging, kind of like, huh. and like kind of clicking, uh, making bug, little chirp big noises. Bug. Big bug. Uh, big bug. <laughs> big bug. <laughs> okay. No, not actually going to heal you though upon for closer examination. <laughs> well, he writhed in pain. Yes. I want to go ahead and start looking through the the witch's robes. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to loot the witch? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. They killed her. They're stealing Primarily her stuff. Primarily those stacks on her belt. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, on her on her belt, um, you find uh, amongst the damage done to her, we're going to have you do sort of investigation roll to determine. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what you find. Yes. 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 I would love to. What is this? Um, yes. And you're over here, I think, right? Yes. You? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here. Yes. Good. Mm. I mm. love it. Okay. So you go through each uh, each pouch, um, and amidst some just seems like random herbs that she may have gathered from the forest. Um, there's a few small animal skulls. Uh, there's maybe some like old intestinal lining. Um, oh, she's friendly, Zichum. You do find a vial of green mm. liquid. You sort of swirl it around, and it looks very uh, mm. viscous. So uh, liquids and shit. Mm. Well, Grelin's got a knife, and she's got some old lady herbs and liquid. Come on. So I'm gonna see if I have a vial here. I thought I had a vial. I thought I had one. So you have an, I have a, a, an unknown green vial. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. While, while this is going on, can I just. Um, I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to kind of walk over to the stew and just give it a sniff to see what. Like investigate okay. what's actually that is. 
It's uh, Open, are you hungry? I gave you a tomato. It's no, 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 definitely I I bubbling. So okay, sorry. So you find I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in your inventory. Uh, you find a green vial of acid. It's acid. Surprise. And uh, you find another closed um, sort of ceramic pot, and it's corked. And if you were to uncork it, a little bit of whatever's inside is like a white. It almost looks like has like a consistency of glue. Sort of sticks to the top a little bit. Sort of opens it up. It's a little weird looking. The cum jar. The cum yes. jar. You got the cum a jar. The cum jar. <laughs> cum jar. <laughs> I will be pocketing what? both of those. They're in your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nonchalantly like, hmm. You I'm trying to hide it? Thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead and make a uh, sleight of hand. I, I... Yes. Sleight of hand, sleight of oh, hand. Well. It wasn't good. No, it was Bumbles okay, actually. It. <laughs> Whoa! Um, it was the cum jar. <laughs> fuck, there's, a, there's a passive perception stat that I'm not seeing show up here. But... Uh, Drops it and picks it back up. <laughs> with a 10, I'll say that unless someone was specifically trying to look at you or anyone else had the thought to loot the witch, that they wouldn't have seen it now. Uh, I bet, I bet Grelin would have if he wasn't busy busting. He was my talking balls. to you. He was talking I to you while that was my happening. Options. Yeah. I opted to kick your balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I definitely thought about uh, looting the, the witch. Raxmus, the soup, the stew, shall we say, in quotation marks, mm -hmm. is uh, very bubbly, um, directly correlated to the the fire that's lit underneath of it. Uh, mm -hmm. It bubbles like someone's boiling like glue. Oatmeal. But it's like green. And it smells mm. bad? It, it's hard to say it smells bad. Blonk. It doesn't really have a smell. It's like a very neutral smell. It like, doesn't have an overly mm. scenty smell. Yeah, she didn't get a chance Sounds to put good. her salt in yet. I'll, we I'll, murdered him. I'll back we away. We murdered her. Okay, no I'll choose. That's why I'm checking if I wanted to eat the tomato. That's why I just want to ah. see what's inside. Yeah. But I mean, since yeah, you're I not decided sure. that I don't want to eat that, I'll back okay. away. Okay. No problem. You're not and sure if it'd be edible. Activist backs away from the cauldron. I'll lift my left hand mm -hmm. and I'll lick <laughs> the goo off. So if it's at, too thick, I might even like. It, that is what you have to do. As you go to yeah, lick it off, yeah. it doesn't just come off. It's not like yeah. it just leaves your skin. You're like licking the top surface of a lollipop. So you have to like. You're yes. like licking a. Yes. It feels like it's almost like like it's la layers. So you lick it. Yeah barely touched it it's almost mm -hmm. like maybe it's, it's it's weird it's like it doesn't feel like it's hardened because you can still move your skin but it, it's like almost like it's it feels like it's stuck it is stuck to you mm, and as you lick yeah. it and slurp it you kind of have to like bite it to separate it from oh, itself oh, oh. yeah so you're trying to trying to suck it you kind of get like a little like a little like suck going on but it's not enough to really rip it off mm -hmm. it's like taffy mm -hmm. it's like taffy yeah. like really yeah. melty yeah, okay. taffy yes yes I love taffy. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I do like banana taffy. Yo, that's pretty good. Mm. It's not like that. <laughs> it's not delicious. Uh, <laughs> All of my teeth fell out while eating taffy. Dude, I hate good. eating chewy I lost food. three teeth at once. It's Thank really God they're not eating. adult teeth. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, go ahead. But um, if you are committed enough, you can eat some. Yes. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw. After you swallow, <laughs> kind of concerning that you need a Constitution saving throw, but <laughs> he's already made a decision. Well, you said, he said yes. He said I yes. That, that means he he ate some. Ooh, hmm. wow. Hmm. He's got you, a pretty large stomach. Can't swing an axe, but he can eat anything <laughs> he finds. You get, you get it in your mouth. <laughs> hmm. And I don't know if you've ever eaten glue before. I haven't, but I imagine this is what it would be like. Um, it doesn't move around your mouth it cakes the inside coats every surface and as you swallow it is the same to your throat and it's almost like you inhale and it's like menthol <sighs> yeah, you drink orange juice and brush your teeth kind of feeling um oh. and you really have to work your gums and your mouth and your teeth and your whole jaw is sore mm. and this was for like literally the wonky like willy wonka size taffy portion of this um very large portion covering like the majority like it was a large spoonful that you got it was a big mm -hmm. ladle that he got mm -hmm. on you yeah and there wasn't a lot of splatter it was very 
congealed and congested when it hit you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you feel like you want to throw up, but you don't throw up when it hits your stomach. So I wouldn't that eat, was good. I wouldn't eat what's in the cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> You'll regret it later, after probably. Like, after like three minutes of just... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pretty need precise. that. <laughs> pretty precise. Yeah, pretty precise. Big Bug's just watching you. Like, he's just been standing here watching you this whole time. He watched you loot the corpse. You know, he's just been watching. He doesn't have a lot to say. Who's, who's Big Bug going to tell us? <laughs> Big Bug. <laughs> Big Bug? Anybody Big else? Bug. <laughs> <laughs> you're still dying over there. <laughs> I guess I guess if you're still doing Maybe that, we should, uh, Big continue Bug will through the cave. We'll walk over. I mean, I'll I'll take now a look around. Now that killed we've killed the, everything, killed the witch, drank the potion, <laughs> and looted the pockets, and, and kicked, kicked me in my balls. In the nuts. <laughs> I'm going to actually come back over here and and do a little investigatory yeah, work. Yeah, I wouldn't see that the area. Yes, you notice something, something behind the rock. If you're looking there, I guess. <laughs> Hmm. Are you talking about the bag of severed heads or uh, no? The chest. No, I'm not. The chest. Got it. They're potatoes. Just kidding. They're not severed head, guys. Let's get serious. I'm a here. dwarf. I know treasure when I see treasure. You were the first one to spot it, and uh, that means you could be the first one to try and open it if you'd like. I will. I will go over there. Still without my cloak. Reach down. Still and... naked. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try and pry the lid. It opens without uh, any any resistance whatsoever, and as I it opens, it as if there's a lot of resistance, <laughs> and I look over at Big Bug. <laughs> Big Bug is trying to climb down the cliff to take a look at the crying uh, kobold. Okay, yes. I, I, I open it. <laughs> and as you do, uh, you hear a series of loud clicking go off. Um, okay. And inside, three platforms pew, 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 pop out from the bottom, little puffs of dust tch, 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 with each one. And they're sort of like, they pop up and they give a little, like they're resting, like they're balanced. And there's a bag, a pouch, a gray pouch on each one. So as if sorry, like, sorry, there's, there's three a, platforms that they three, can choose? Three little platforms <laughs> pop out of the chest. They seem to be weighted, and on each one, there's a bag. One of the bags is brown. One of the bags is red. One of them is gray. Holy crabs. It's mm. crabs! <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're all even? They, they look pretty similar. Um, make, a percep I... make, make a perception check. Yeah, I, I will. Please. Perception. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Looks like bags. Just, just, yep, they look like bags, but that's not really what you're at. You're saying that they all look the same. Um, mm -hmm. So I, you will say that the, the brown one looks the thinnest, mm -hmm. but the other two look comparable. Mm -hmm. And again, it was, uh, there's the brown one, the gray one, and the red one. Okay. Can I, can I go over to the cauldron? Sure. Get the spoon. Yeah, it's cut on the ground and, now. Well, yeah. well, well, before before we go that route, are there any like ties loops on these bags? Uh, yeah, they're all like closed. They're all like sealed closed with like a little knot, like with uh, some mm -hmm. twine. It looks like some basic twine. The bigger a the, knot the, the, or yeah. a bow. A knot. It's tied. Not mm -hmm. not very prettily. It looks like just done to get it tied. Hmm. Mm -hmm. My balls. So you're kind of looking at this. I know you guys were exploring the cave. By exploring the cave, you uncover that this is just a cave. It doesn't go any further. Mm -hmm. I will then proceed to <laughs> your to balls. My options, realizing that there are no loops to put a spoon through, I will lean uh, down. Okay. With my teeth, yeah. grab the middle one. Okay, which the while grabbing the side ones. <laughs> And I will immediately try and jerk myself back. <laughs> <laughs> so going for an all three at once approach. There is two other people running okay. around you, but I like this approach a lot. Are you guys 
walking up as this is happening like what's everyone else doing I, i'm above like i don't know if, if if i'm seeing this correctly but it looks you like are. i'm kind of above peering down towards the dwarf it's a little slanted like a, i remember it's like a cave it's yeah. like, a, like a bowl yeah it's a little slanted i can see it yeah so not exactly I'm standing there i'm, I'm looking, looking at them okay I, all right yeah i'm looking <laughs> at it <laughs> essentially my character's thinking exactly Damn. what i just said we have two other people right around, but I kind of like this approach. Uh, <laughs> that's what my guy's kind of thinking. Make a dexterity check for me. Um, I don't know Dex. if there's something more specific, but I think dexterity itself is good. Ooh, and 13. I want to lean against the wall while, while he does this. Like, okay. I want to see what happens. Okay. My whole, my so whole you're trying to take all three of these pressure padded that we've, mm -hmm. you know, things. Um, mm -hmm. they, with a 13, <laughs> you always, you always surprise me. I can't believe I didn't think you would try to do this though. At the same time, you know what I mean? Like, why didn't mm -hmm. I think you would try to do this? Of course he would. It's of decky. Of course he would. It's decky. I'm a dwarf! <laughs> he hates witches. Okay, well, well, first of all, here's what I happens. I witches, but I love loot. You pick all three up at the same time. You do it. Mm -hmm. You manage to do it. You you stand up, you jerk yourself back up, and you have three bags in your hands. And one between your teeth. Um, mm. You hear three clicks as each platform rescends back into the chest pretty much at the same time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to explode. A giant, uh, a giant explosion is going to... Uh, right. It's gonna come out of the the chest. Mm. We could have done mm -hmm. the Indiana Jones thing, but I like I yeah. like this idea. Yeah, put a tomato I'm sorry. there. It could have been. <laughs> it could have been so. It could have been elaborate. It could have been elaborate. But you know, sometimes the explosion. You to make yeah. haste before the others got there. <laughs> <laughs> I needed I was to like, die faster. <laughs> I was like, "What's everybody doing? Forget about it. I'm picking up the bags and now." <laughs> How big is this explosion? I'm assuming that I'm going to be hit with this puppy. Yeah. Hmm. You know, okay. one one platform? Maybe you guys are all looking two platforms? Close to that Probably hmm. three platforms? Hmm. Well, you know. <laughs> all right. Um, so, so what's the uh, the death procedure on this campaign? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember you got that one, you got that red gem. <laughs> That one red gem. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, you have that, I think, right? right? You have that in your inventory. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's in Maybe, I think. Who that knows where that is? Even. Who knows where that thing went? Sorry, what'd you say? Two health potions as well that I threatened That's to tr stab someone over. And yeah, he has we're them we're as well, yeah. I don't um, think I'm going to have time to drink a health potion. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah so what's the thing that matter? Uh, okay, surprisingly <laughs> enough, uh, you don't, you're good. Uh, you guys are fine. I think it's... Oh, no, sorry. No, no. Ghrelin, you're 10 foot away from the chest, but he's 15 feet away, so he's okay. Um, 15's a stretch. Yeah. yeah. It's that extra couple feet. You know what I mean, man? Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry, I'm really trying not to kill you guys, but... <laughs> no, Aqua, you can't do There's 12 that. damage. <laughs> So you take 12 damage. Not crazy. 12 Not damage. amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 12? Who does? You guys both take, take 12. Three you guys both earlier? take 12 damage. You oh, both okay. take 12. The chest literally, like, you hear, like, click, 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 and it's... Tsk, and fire, like, geezers out of it and, like, hits the wall and starts to spread rapidly. And you're definitely singed by the majority of the blast. Uh, Raxmus, you're just far enough to, like, take a quick step back as the flames are coming at you. Uh, Chodus, you eat most of the, um, the, the brute force of the damage there. But I will also say, Grelin, you have, I think, un Uncanny Dodge or something like that, some rogue ability where you can, I think you can use it and take half, half action. Uh, nah. Okay, you weren't ready anyway. The whole thing. Okay, it's, it's there. Bam! Twelve damage. You guys both to take twelve damage. So just deduce twelve damage from your health. Hmm. From your health pools. I have three health. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he didn't want to do that. You dodge. got down to three. You got is taken down to three. Is that Maybe after you? I should use the dodge. <laughs> <laughs> is that after you took your health from my thing earlier? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no! Yes. Wait. Didn't, didn't I, I do damage, damage to him from earlier? From yeah, you went from falling off the cliff or something. No, you didn't take damage for that. No, uh, that was Chodius that Chodius took the took dive bomb that. off of yeah. the cliff. Yeah, I forget. I know it's it's like it's I uncanny. My vicious dumb. mockery gave him you damage. Did th yeah, you took three damage. He took three damage. He took three damage. Oh, okay. I went from eighteen to fifteen, and now I'm down to three. Oh my yep. god, yep. this guy's yep. on He's death's feeling doorstep. <laughs> feeling rough. Oh my balls! Oh, oh you don't have it yet. You don't you don't get that till further on. I'm I'm very I'm very sorry. You do eventually, as a rogue, spoilers, get an ability that lets you it's called uncanny dodge. You literally take half damage from things that are AoE effects like this. But at your lesser level, it doesn't so, happen. Yeah, exactly. Oh god, my balls. Fifteen damage. Ah. Can I ah. use one of those health potions that I uh, Drink both of them. Decky's, Decky's got them all. Decky's got <laughs> them. <laughs> he was the one that that took them from them. So you know, so it happens. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. As well, uh, Decky. Now that, that happened, um, roll a d20 for me. Mm. Just a straight, just slash roll. It's gonna be the nut. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> the nice. This is what we'll do. You get uh, the one on your in your in your left hand is the one. The other two got burned up in the fire. So the only bag that you have remaining. So you have like a little twine in between your teeth that you're holding. No bag on the end of it. On your right hand, you're just holding some twine. And but on your left hand, you have the tan bag. The tan bag. The tan bag. The hmm. small. The thinner of that was the three. The small bags. one, right? Yeah. The thinner yeah. one. Yeah. I shake it. Well, it's very sort of singed, burned. Yeah, it survived though. Not uh, like, a, like a like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's familiar with forges, heat. <laughs> I shake it, listening for any sounds of claws. It sounds no, no claws. It sounds Crap. like you do hear some some jiggling, but it's very light jingling, and it just sounds like like hollow pieces of wood, like really light. I peer into hollowed. my bag. It's very tiny. Hey. It's like a little pouch, and you can make out. You make out a small number of beans. In fact, there are. I that into my hand and I investigate. There are eight magic beans. Oh. There are eight beans. You don't know that they're How magic. Do we know Who said magic? magic? Where did you guys hear that? Oh. I didn't hear that. Now that I've seen this explosion that. and it these is. people that are. They're unsaved. beans. They're not magic. Who <laughs> said they're magic? They're un okay, these people are unfazed by the absolute horror of the singed and burning. And I'm going to be like, okay, they seem fine. And I'm going to look at those beans, and I'm going to kind of like take a little closer look. And since I have a nature skill, I believe, can I just roll a nature real quick? Don't I have a nature? Yeah. I will allow this all to happen, but you are trying to observe a handful of beans from a recently singed and goopy dwarven raging barbarian. So you're not going to get a great visual on them without expressing your intent to Chodius to examine uh, them closer. So can I, you know can what I, I mean? Say, can I walk yeah, two steps absolutely. closer and say, Chodius, let Please. me take a look at those. And I'm not going to try to touch them. I'm just going to like peer in so he can kind of show me. Like, Chodius, yeah, you know, yeah. he's got some he's good sense. Yeah. He's a pretty wise guy, want, these things. I okay. don't want to be aggressive like I'm going to take it. I just want to look. Oh, good. He's holding them out. Okay. You're looking at them. Go can ahead and make. I, yeah. Wait, wait. I see this happening. I can <laughs> run up like a snatch right. the beans <laughs> and eat them all. No. Nom, 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 nom. I want to eat all the beans. <laughs> okay, can okay. I do that? Wait, first kings, make a nature check. Get your nature check in while you're there. 16. Very nice. Um, oh my god. Okay, I don't even let me think about it. Really here this. For this? I have three health. This is very risky. Uh, Dude, you just went through a war zone. Uh, yeah, just, hold on. You just stepped into a claymore and I'm healing. I'm pretty beans. sure I'm pretty sure both like we would both try to stop this gremlin. So like do we run initiative or how do we No, but I'm a rogue. Uh, it doesn't no, matter. You yeah. can't you can't just well, no, rogue. It's, you have it, to no, it's happening all simultaneously. He'll have to make a check because he's not obviously, you know, he's not he didn't say he was trying to be stealthy, he said he was literally gonna run and try and okay. take them from you. But he's sprinting at you. He reaches his hand out to try and grab them while you're looking at them. He's quick, so he it gives him a chance to do it. But what I what do we have to mm -hmm. figure out is how do we figure out how many beans he gets? What is his attempt? Against Deku's resistance <laughs> to see how many beans, if any, I he think gets. It's a matter of, it's a matter of if I beat mm -hmm. his ass when he <laughs> yeah. grabs at the beans. Actually, you know what? I, I kind of like the initiative roll. Why don't you guys both roll initiative for me? 
right oh, now. Who? Oh, you, you, no, he was just, no, Raxmas was just looking at them. Uh, but looking at these beans, Raxmas, by the way, your, mm -hmm. your nature sense tells you they're not natural beans. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. magic. Yeah, they're beans, probably but... magic beans. <laughs> okay. I know they're magic. Okay, go ahead. What? You're like, oh, these are magic beans, and then suddenly Grelin is there in your pre in your you presence. First, <laughs> Grelin. Rolling There's a ship. no active yeah, combat it. encounter oh. in your. That's why you just can't. Yeah. Because you can't roll initiative. Doesn't let you. No, I won't. No. Let me... Sorry, I clicked oh. that. That was me. Yeah, you should be able to just click it. I have. Uh, oh. Oh, no. It's I looking like. Go ahead, Growlin. I clicked that one, but no. you gotta roll your own check. My beans! <laughs> it's not working. Really? Yeah. It's looking like you're gonna lose those beans, dude. I just rolled mine to test, that's all. Huh? It seems oh, like oh, you oh. can't grasp the beans. Wait a second. Probably uh, based Bad. on the Go fact ahead. that he looks like now Gustavo Fring from Breaking Bad after he got bombed. Now try. <laughs> now click it. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, oh God. Fuck. <laughs> we got the fat 20. So Give me the beans. You have like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like that scene from the, the, I forget if it's a Marvel movie with the guy that goes really fast and like time for everyone else is going really slow, but he's just like there, but next to you. It's so like, yeah, Grelin's like standing next to Chodius as Chodius is like slow-mo talking to Raximus and he's like, Grelin's just looking at the beans. As his I do like moving. a gymnast <laughs> cartwheel through the conversation <laughs> and grab the beans and continue and then and what i'll do here is roll 1d8 for me and that will be how many beans you grab i roll a, a what i'm sorry a 1d8 oh so in the chat just type slash roll 1d8 you just slash r2 if you don't type roll but... 1d8 yep hmm like one space d8 yeah. So you grab three beans. So your little gremlin gob goblin hands mm. manage to get hold of three whole beans. And you land in, in between Raxmas and... <laughs> that was not a uh, smart decision. And you're all, you're holding three beans? If and, you touch oh, them, did, you say you, did you say you eat I, them I mean, immediately as well? Characters. And he's raging. That's his choice. Wait, Aqua, did you say you Are ate you the beans? Are you going to kill me or what? Three beans? <laughs> what? I mean, did you eat the beans? kill me. Did He's you, raging, so... Did you eat the beans, though? You said you ate I, them. I shoved them in my mouth already and ate them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's Minus like a little beans. worried about dying, but not enough to not eat the beans. Yeah. <laughs> I ate those beans. Like, by, as soon as I finished my cartwheel, I went... <laughs> All right. I ate them. Uh, roll a D100 for me. Oh, God. Roll, roll, sorry, roll three D... Roll three times. So roll D100 three times, yeah. I don't know if this is good or bad. I don't know. Yeah, this is frightening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay, hang on. We got 30. It's nice knowing you, Grelin. <laughs> That's a good character. It was such a cool character, man. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna miss him. <laughs> Yeah, that's they a might be good a, beans. Have to come up with a new they name. They were guarded by uh, a Gobi like a name. Wow. Okay. Also, someone else is going to make your character. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gobi no, it's track? not. Listen, Never not track. too crazy. So what we'll do is I will explain what happens, and then it is mm -hmm. one o'clock. So we'll probably wrap it up before you guys have a chance to react. But it will give you okay. time to think. Actually, nice. I'll bring it up to you. Do you want to hear what happens now? Or do you want to wait till next oh. session? It'd be a good clip. Are you guys sure we don't want to react? Because he's going to be making a new character next yeah. week. He's making a new character, so he might want to react. Maybe well, you have a few react. healing <laughs> options. Yeah. You know what I mean? A character. Okay, Grell. So what happens is the beans, you... It, like, time a little slows down again, but just for you. Uh, you feel the beans move through your digestive... Your, 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 you know, you swallow them. You feel them move into your belly. And it's almost like they're growing as soon as they touch your saliva. You can feel them sprout. And you can feel them like bustling inside your like, halfway down your esophagus. It's suddenly like too much for you. And you <laughs> not even able to control it all over the ground. You vomit once. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then. Surprised you got any left in them. To be honest. <laughs> I'll say for, for flavor text, you stumble five feet in another direction and vomit again. And then. 
Mm. As per the number of beans you ate, you do it once more. So you've, there's three spots of vomit now on the ground. And three mm. things emerge from each spot of vomit that you've protruded. The first, uh, the ground starts to shake. The, the stone starts to quake. And then a jagged dagger of stonework erupts from the ground. And then another, and then another. And then it starts to, to crack and, and pop and snap and take form and grow from the ground until a stone statue of you stands there. What's the I want a stone one? statue of me. And then you hear Rowan's voice me. echoing in the cave. In the you guys are the worst teammates ever. You <laughs> guys stink. You're gonna die. Just yeah. leave. It's gonna be All bad right. news. Hmm. Don't go any further. Okay. You guys are the that. worst villains ever. It's the, the you hear the voice coming from the statue, but it's your oh, voice. Statue. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is your voice coming from the statue, and it doesn't stop, and it keeps going. And then the second pile erupts, uh, from which a tree grows. Um, mm -hmm. This tree uh, springs up. It's like a little, it's as big as a tree can get in a cave, I guess. Uh, magical beans. A shrub. And uh, we have on the tree seven fruits. Uh, the fruits are i eat the fruit <laughs> <laughs> sort of uh a greenish bluish reddish it's kind of like a gradient of a color not quite an apple red uh, more of like pomegranate like deep like almost like a gem red mm, um yeah yep and that's and then from the third pile we're not done one last pile of vomit uh Oh, okay. Uh, from the last pile, uh, the ground begins to bubble differently from the stonework that just erupted moments before. Uh, the dirt seems to bubble and then like mold grows and then dies and then decays. It's like super rapid. Like, you see this like almost like a time lapse in front of your eyes until there's 15 different mushrooms of different size, all sort of the same spotted the white <laughs> and brown <laughs> colors. <laughs> and uh, just kind of all like, and it's sort of like, it's like lightly steaming, like fresh, fresh hot mushrooms from the ground. Mm. Then the magic of the beans settles in the air. Your stomach turns once more, but you do not vomit. Am I That's dead? that. You're not dead. You're not dead. Black. Not but yet. it is. It is. Yeah, I was going to say it. But is. it is one o'clock, so I ended there. But when we come back, you guys will be in the hag cave. Uh, we have one raging Chodius partially covered in goop with, with, yeah. with, with how many beans remaining? I think five beans. Five, five beans uh, remaining. You have um, a few things to, that you could possibly interact with. You'll have a fruit tree, uh, some mushrooms, and the statue, which is still shouting, uh, telling you guys how you are the worst people that have ever come mm -hmm. this way. He's now he's starting to I get into it. how the hag you killed was actually a really nice old woman, woman, mm -hmm. and she yep. didn't deserve yep. your death. She actually didn't even try yep. and fight you guys at all. Um, and in fact, he, you know, the statue starts to go in about how Big Bug doesn't actually like you guys. And that he, how Big Bug <laughs> said God, that to the no. statue. No, I don't blame like him. him. Yeah. We're murderers. So that sort of dialogue is going on. It will be going on when we get back to this uh, this this chapter. Okay. Uh, great, nice. You found one of the our, my off maps that I've I have going. It wasn't the 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 you know it wasn't the main hole that is the near obviously. But it was a hole. But it was a hole. It wasn't the At hole. At this point, any hole will do. <laughs> At this point, any hole. Will do. <laughs> That's 